Hell yes, I'm pleased to announce it's gamer time yet again. I got all my things done, I think. I got my workout in. I ate some leftovers. That's worthy of celebrating. It's the frugal thing to do. And now it's gamer time. I've, uh, I've installed some tasteful mods. Always tasteful mods. There were some very tasteful mods, some excessively tasteful mods, but they're for the chainsaw demo and not the main game. And uh, what's unfortunate is that people don't really uh, like label them. Some people do, but really it's just installing it and seeing if it works. So there was a lot of that going on. But the game is modded. There aren't too many mods out now that are actually for the, the retail game. Um, if, boy, if I really if I really threw my back into it, I could probably just find the folder structure and copy the files over. I'm sure that they're similarly named, the asset files. Uh, there's some... Uh, yeah, so Am I Revolution, the tram stamp has already been made, but it's for the chainsaw demo. None of the, none of the many tram stamp mods work with the retail game yet. There is a really good made outfit mod that I was uh, desperate to get working. But alas, we're going to have to wait on that one too. It's only been a day or two, really. Um, but there are mods. There are some mods. Tasteful mods, again. Always tasteful. So it may take a while to notice them. You'll just have to watch the game. You'll just have to watch the game and wait and see what the differences might be. Give him some time. Kimmin, thank you for the roses. That's a lot of roses. Damn, all right. Crush your enemies. So rich. Ashley, run! Okay. Hasta luego. Nice. Hasta luego. God, I thank you for your gift. You want to get ugly? Let's get up. Man, he looks so good. Oh my gosh. I should have known you were one of the bugs. Ooh. I was in the kicking animation. Oh. Oh. I'm just trying to. You like, you have to do a lap around a boss arena in a Resident Evil game right off the top. Uh, to, to get all the items as fast as possible. Ooh! That's really interesting. And really, <laughs> it's fair, actually, that you're not invincible during the kick. Um, because you could abuse that like I'm trying to right now. Alright, alright. Oh, thank you for sending me a, a palm spark, uh, a couple of... Looks like a couple of ow shit. A couple of stuffed dinosaurs. Oh, I see it. I see it. All right. That's so rad. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. This dude's got all kinds of tricks going on right now. Who? Gotta be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed. This is, this is a hell of a checkpoint to come back to. Alright. <sighs> yeah, this is about what it'd be like though, right? I don't get the feeling that I would do a whole lot aside from get grabbed and thrown around by this sort of thing. Okay, so you, I guess you gotta kind of wait. Oh, don't roll, Neil. Leon. Okay. That had to have done something. Mm hmm. 
It's gonna get mean. Ugh. There's not even like a dodge prompt for that. Uh, there goes my life. There's no other, there's no other ladder. I'm fucked. <laughs> Jesus! How did you even find his eyes? They're so small. Oh, sneaky! I I played a ton of Diablo Four last weekend. Um. So, since it since stuff isn't carrying over, I'm just gonna be like, yeah. Take it a little easy until the game comes out. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go wild on that game. I'm gonna click so much. Be but yeah, I've, I have like two max level characters. I played a little bit of Druid. Uh, I'm sure Necro is a blast. It always is. Anyway, Kim, and how you doing? I've never gotten a dinosaur before. Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our God. You're a shitty missionary. You know that. I think Diablo 4 is June, but I could oh, be wrong. Almighty, grant me the strength. To crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Okay. I gotta admit, the betas have been pretty solid. Uh, I haven't, I didn't try to play the open beta at any kind of peak time. But it seems like they've scaled up the login infrastructure pretty fast and are able to handle people. Like, it's nothing like Diablo 3. Yeah. Get ugly. Let's get ugly. And I can guarantee, like, there's probably a lot more people trying to play. Well, maybe not. Diablo 3 sales kind of racked up over time. Um, so maybe it's not, like, millions of people playing open beta, but... Man, you gotta be fast. Oh, come on! That's weird. I just dodged the other one by kind of just running in a straight line, but... Flip! Oh, fucking shit. I thought I could grab an item. What? He blinked. Oh, he's like, super twisted. What? Okay, I guess you just have to jump off the top. He does that. I think this is just not not the weapon for this. They seem to expect to be able to get a lot more reliably. That had to have done something. I'm just playing on PS5. The cut for a couple of hours. Wait, it was only two minutes. That's awesome. Good job, Blizzard. Robba John, thanks for the prime. How close to the end of the game is this? Not very. I don't think so. Uh, this is still kind of the early on in the game, at least at least by the scale of original Resident Evil 4. Never sent the dino before. Oh. Well, this was a pretty this was a pretty magical moment for both of us then. Flip! <laughs> so ridiculous. Some Spider-Man shit. Like just doing a backflip to dodge something you could just hop over. I love it. Leon is a Drew, special boy. He likes doing flips. Leon's so proud of his acrobatics. She works. Oh, Kimmin! Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the sub! You're being all kinds of generous to me today. How's it going? Yep. I hit E. I eed. I absolutely eed. His head wiggled up. Fuck! I don't have a knife now. 
Ah. Jesus. No, well, he's just gonna get me with that. Um, maybe I just gotta keep running and hope that he doesn't grab me. Can try to stun him. That might work. Lord knows you guys love these. Around a lot. Ha 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 ha. Take your time, Leon. Flash, fuck. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a knife, though, you just gotta. What the? F Lady okay. first. Thank you for the cheer. And uh, it's good to know that Barney is a gentleman. We knew he was. Man, he looks so cool, though. Damn, he looks cool. Ow, fire. Fire. Ow, I'm on fire. I ran into the fire. I'm on fire. Was this like a shooting gallery thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on! Alright, alright. I gotta wait for him to pick up barrels and then I shoot him out of his claws. Did it, like, slow down? Ah. <sighs> Neat. I mean, this is a... I will say this is a little more involved and a little more mechanically intricate than a cap like a Capcom Resident Evil boss fight usually is. There's like telegraph attacks you can actually dodge with the mechanics that the game gives you. Instead of just running around in circles. Dr. Beef Chunk. To defeat the cyber demon, shoot it until it dies. You know I never thought of that. Thank you for the top tip. <laughs> it's still good. Cease your pointless I was worried about uh I was worried about Believe it or not, affecting the dramatic impact of some of these cutscenes, but I can see that that is likely not an issue. Oh, Almighty! Grant I don't need to watch this. It's good, but I don't need to watch. It. Shouldn't have done that. Am I gonna get hit for that? I think so. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, I'm just trying to freaking flip. did it again. Surely you're not expected to hit his eye while he's gyrating around like that. Ah, God! You can't look away. <sighs> yes. I agree. Leon is a, a banana rights... A banana rights advocate, that's for sure. The American right. To bear nanas. Not bad. I'm actually gonna use the other knife? Wait. No, I'm gonna use this one, because I don't think it'll break it. Yeah. Wow. So I guess you want to use kitchen knives to to block. Oh my god! Never mind. That took like half. All right. Took over. Uh, I don't understand. Sometimes you, I just like I have to be holding space well in advance. Something. Oh, that's not a. No, he was just. He was just showing an owie. That's all. It 
it's like there's lots of little transition animations that you're not allowed to do anything during. What the? I think if you're like, I think if you're going from aim down sights, you're not allowed to use the knife. Because I keep getting tagged at the end of that animation and he doesn't pull out the knife and it's driving me crazy. So it's like, I guess you just gotta like wait for it, which is a weird decision. Because what if he just hits you again while you're trying to shoot him? that or something. BS. So like, also when I don't have knife, how do I just not get absolutely laid out by his little claw slaps? I guess if I'm sprinting. Okay. I have no knife. Shit. So now, hmm. Now the question is, can I even switch to my rifle and scope up before this phase is over? Like, I don't think I'll be able to put a bullet in him, but I'll try. Oh, that was really fast. Never mind. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a whole gun swapping animation. Aw, oh, kind of tallish. I appreciate the early gamer stretch here. We gotta, we gotta take it though. It's time. We have to, we have to practice inviting moments of serenity, even in moments of stress. So I'm gonna try to do this squat thing again. I'm trying to do this one-legged squat where I kind of shift back and forth on my weight. I want to do it like full kung fu style, where you can just drop into a one-legged squat and then just kind of wiggle back and forth on the ground. That's my goal, but I'm not there yet. But I invite you all to stretch with, pretty much just try to do a squat. Sink into it, see how low you can get. The big cheese line still in. I haven't heard it yet, but a lot of other good ones are still are in there. That's for sure. Damn. It feels good. It feels good to to move against the, against the natural restraints. It's like it's like scratching the insides of your joints. But but like good. That makes it sound bad. Oh, right. He's still there. Guess your tap dancing days are over. Nice. Yes, my guy. Ooh. I almost wish there was like a dodge. This game feels like it should have a dodge button. But it doesn't. Oh, shit. So you just have to be running laterally while he throws this shit at you, or you will get hit. I wonder if he can hit me off of ladder. Whoa, 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 dude. Okay. He just decided he'd had enough of me. Are you a fan of the new Leon face? To me, he looks way worse than the OG RE4. He looks less like a model, um, which I guess is literally what he was based on. Also, there's like a, there's a weird eyeball thing with new Leon. I don't know what that's all about. It just kind of pops out sometimes. So I don't know why they chose to do that. I think they just kind of made it more look like Leon from RE6, maybe? Trying to, 
to evolve away from that specific dude's likeness. Because he was based off a dude in RE4. So it might just be like, we can't pay for the likeness anymore or don't want to. This is just what the character looks like now. Should have known you were one of the bugs. As far as me being a fan, I I think it works. It actually works better for the tone of the game. RE4 is such an amazing and campy game that it kind of works that the that Leon looks like a, a fashion model. Whoa! This is the reload second. You move quick for such a big bastard. Ooh! Box is not friendly. He looks like a dude you went to high school with? Why did I not parry that one? Why? Why? You're gonna have to tell me why. Tell me why, Capcom. Oh, you can do it from the top? From the top rope? Man, that's sick. Ugh, stop it, dude. You have to let me run to the ladder. You have to let me. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck. Nice. I'm getting right. I gave him the spoon. He's going to get more of it, too. Oh, well, maybe not. Ugh. All the fall down animations and stuff too. Kind of reminds me of The Last of Us. Just always tumbling and rolling and getting up and waiting for your character to do the button you just told him. Ugh. Shit. What the f- No way. I have never- I have not had so much pain trying to like hit a stationary target. See me Look at it, how much it's wiggling! Look at all the wiggles! Nothing sits still in this game. Ugh. It's such a contrast to older games, man. Where, like, people would just sit there. Their heads would just sit there and you just shoot the heads. No longer. I've missed my window now. Like, I can't... I have no knives, so I can't really reliably, reliably carry anything. There's, there's help down there. She just grabs you so fast. Shit. Leon, you gotta get moving, bro. He's like... He takes like a few lumbering half-steps when he starts moving. He's a slow boy. I guess the... Spiritually, that does make it pretty accurate to like... To, uh... Pretty classic Resident Evil. I tried shooting while doing the backflip? Fuck, that's a good idea. Huh. Aw. Fuck. The roll, dude! You didn't need to roll! Ah! God. Okay. <laughs> Luckless Zanzo. Thanks for the sub. You feel like they did a good job of keeping the campiness. It's not very campy yet, but I also haven't gotten to the campier parts of the game yet. You know, I haven't even seen Salazar yet. Your tap dancing days are over. Nice, Ken. Fucking got him, got him, got him, got him. Got his ass. 
Okay. I guess I'll just shoot him now. You can probably just shoot him in phase one, too. I probably does more damage. Are you, are you Kamehameha? What is this? Picked up any health, huh? For your sins. He can hit you on the ladder. Are you crazy? Huh. Leave him alone. Yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> Kim and thanks for the thanks for the cheer. Oh boy. Okay, I'm back up to speed. Leon's back. Excuse me, Len. 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 Leon! No, him named Len. His eye fell out. Yes, it did. Leon! Yes, it did. This place is coming down! That's true. I'm hurt though. Ew. I didn't leave any sweet items in here, did I? Give my regards to your god. Fuck yeah. We got him, Leon. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. He's got a little smile. Leon, hurry! Welcome. I'll <laughs> uh, see you, Ken. Or uh, see you, Kimmin. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> he is cool. Leon is cool. This fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not going to turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. Man, Leon's cool. Just can't get over how cool Leon is. And why would I want to? Really? That's the question. What's the point? What happens if I blow that up? Cool. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, they need to actually... Yeah, Jess, that's... I've been waiting for the Salazar statue for a long time. The Salazar Gundam? That Those are the real moments where I'm like, are they willing to go there? I guess there, there's already been a moment of camp where, like, they've telegraphed the... At least the acknowledgement of that. The first scene with Ada, where she's just, like, dangling from a grappling hook. Her clandestine appearance. Like, Ada's, Ada's framing and... And insertion into the narrative is kind of, I think, representation that that side of the game will still be there. But even in, even compared to the original RE4, this was still kind of the serious part of the game. Although, just now, getting into the castles when it starts to go... Starts to go fun. I didn't double check to make sure I got all the treasure. I guess it was too late already. Well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. If I didn't get it all, it's chat's fault anyway. So.
Hell yeah. Hell yeah, next chapter. This game rules. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. All right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get going. Guess we better. I need to try those, uh... I want to try the marksmanship challenges again. Those are so fun. Ooh, Dante. Thanks for the sub. Hell yeah. That's a hell yeah. Oh, it's a new chapter. I wonder if I can buy a bigger attache case. I have some new goods that might interest you. And I have some pesetas that might interest you, good sir. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. So good. Fucking love this guy. Oh, I didn't Ruby's I didn't properly no di Thank you. Hold on. Come back. Did not properly gaze at the at the orb. Wow. Damn. Look at this beautiful video game eyeball. You can kind of see the banding around the, the polygons, but that glisten. The iris is beautiful. Or the cornea, I suppose. Just want to run away imagine popping that thing in your mouth and swishing it around a little bit clicking it on your teeth any time welcome ah I just got to the castle and Salazar is still the same gremlin and it feels great that's great to hear I uh stingray oh the semi-auto rifle okay uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited to meet Salazar. Alright, it's time to sell the bolt action. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. Where we'll make the dream real. This? Your pocket? <laughs> I'm not gonna auto sword like some godless some godless Bolshevik. Wait a minute. There we go. Perfect. Everything a growing boy needs. This gun turns heads into pumpkins, mate. Take this for a rampage through the patch. <laughs> yes. Buy the broken butterfly and get this for free. But you can get well, the broken butterfly you could pick up. Cash in your pocket or your life. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Good luck to you, stranger. Without the necessary funds, I'm afraid we don't have a deal. Not enough cash. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. Well then, what can I do you for? <gasps> Ooh. Some things money can't buy. Drop rate of red herbs. Definitely want that though. All kinds of trinkets in this cloud. I need that red nine stock. I need it. I need it. This is exciting stuff though. These are good goodies. Oh, now I can sell the eye, yeah. A deal well struck. <laughs> Anything else <laughs> I can help you with? Not sure I like the new merchants. It's a different flavor, but I still love the execution. I think it's great. I think it's I think it fits the game perfectly. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. 
got also, a man. Of good things on sale, stranger. The the music. It was so subtle that it never really dawned on me that it was sort of the RE4 version. Or it was it was the like uh the merchant slash key or a typewriter room theme. It gets stronger when you're at the typewriter, but man, it's so good. Oh, it's so good though. I want to just listen to that. Like, put some put some waves crashing on top of that. Hmm, you got yourself a transcendent experience. What about a game mode where you're the merchant and the whole purpose is getting zo getting the zombies and figuring out prices for items? There are a few games that have attempted that. Um, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. Where you are the merchant that has to like sell stuff to heroes. There's a Dragon's Quest oh, game where game. you play as a merchant. I guess that's that was one of the characters in Dragon's oh, Quest Three. Yeah, snarking on him. What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Oh, the freaking god, the catapults. Ugh. Things just keep getting better. Nice, Steph. Steph's back, everyone. Steph is back. That's a sexy gun. <laughs> Ready for action. Ooh. I'll hang on to that for a little while. I've wondered about that. I mean, they drop into, a, into our driveway, so probably not. How'd you do with the shooting training minigame? I have not, yeah, I haven't done the, the, I haven't attempted the challenge to shoot all the little skull emblems yet. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. Man, we're doing it. We're doing it. Infiltrating the castle. Doesn't know we're here. What the fuck? Yeah, I think I might know. I'm gonna make a. S yeah, here we go. This is gonna be broken. <laughs> Chop my head off and bit it off. Uh, what's up, Leonardo? I'm just playing video games, man. Uh, is there a mod with him in the crop top? There are, yes, but they were for the chainsaw demo. And a lot of those mods haven't been updated for the retail game yet. So, within the next couple of days, probably, yeah. Man, that was sick, though. That was cool. What a cool reveal, too. Just the way this room is done. The light and the sound drawing your attention to the left. And that, like... That one gap in the paneling where you can kind of look through. I'm gonna watch this animation again. Can you, I wonder if you can get him before he goes sicko mode. That's such a good read from, like a good, good line from Ashley too. Oh. oh, a new knife. Yeah, this is the thing that can make the, the like, ultra darts. Wh hmm. This. Yeah, wait, what? Bolts? Times two plus? What does that mean? I don't get it! I thought it was this, but maybe not.
Ah, eh, whatever. Who cares? Leon's moving too slow without his crop top. Yeah, that's the problem. He's weighed down by all this, all this cloth. He can't ventilate. He's overheating. That's the problem. He's getting uh, thermally throttled constantly. Yeah, I haven't heard a ton of Ashley yet. I just rescued her not too long ago in the game. But she's pretty awesome so far. A lot of her screams have been pretty A+. Joining a long line, uh, venerated series of ladies who scream in horror. Scream queens? Yeah. I'm, I'm all hurt. I'm all hurt up. You making a sandwich over there? No, oh, Steph's, Steph's doing, <laughs> doing dishes loudly. Paul16, thanks for the sub. Uh-oh. Oof. That's a rough one, Ashley. That's rough. That's rough there. You okay? Yeah. Oh, I don't have the scope. Stock, I could assassinate all these dudes with my pistol. <clears throat> Man, that gun sounds amazing! Man, that echo? Mmm! Can actually do the Joker walk down the stairs. You know what? Maybe Leon can. There. <laughs> How was that? Did you did your mind feel as liberated as it did the first time you saw Joaquin Phoenix doing a little dance down some stairs? Chakras opened. Mind expanded. Oh. What if everything is just bullshit? Yep, they still have the explosive barrels next to them. So cool. They have catapults now. Cool. Particles, man. They're on fire, bro. You're not worried about that. How you doing? Okay, that one got him. <laughs> That's what it took. Put him over the edge. I gotta take a. I gotta take any. Ooh! Just like I gotta take any after that one. Uh. Well, I just ate a full, full catapult burst. So whatever. I guess you're not supposed to run directly into where the last one hit. Maybe there's something I guess this about. This is the idea of a warm welcome. Shit. When they splatter against the wall. Shit. See, it's a good it's a good yell. She got a good yell. Good scream. Good one, Len. Yeah. I'm friends with the president. He loves that president. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. I'm kind of scared. I feel like if you run the wrong direction, you just get super overexposed and then you get lit up by all the catapults in four. If Ashley took a catapult, it was just game over. She'd just die.
<laughs> 9 out of 10 scream IGN. Too many screams. It's locked. The screams were fantastic. Couldn't get enough screams. Every time Ashley screamed, I smiled in delight. 9 out of 10. Too many screams. Ow! Oh, shucks. All right. Nope. This is what I didn't want. guys. Oh, I can get this one. These screams have something for everyone. Yeah. Old and new fans will delight in the screams. like a corner of a barrel I gotta be able to uh no shucks why am I over here oh it's not looking good okay I'm gonna go for it okay, what about this way drop down Whoa. safety I'm part of the game you planning on getting to this stream? I have no idea. We'll see. Just depends how far I get, I guess. I, uh... I also don't know what's in the game. I haven't played the remake before, haven't really read about it or anything, so... For all I know. It could have divergent content. I really have no health. No, I don't. Okay. One of these things is just going to hit me. That's going to be it. <sighs> this one behind me is very scary. Okay. Ashley. Oh, shut up. You have no right. You have no right at all to be injured right now. Okay. Not looking so good. You okay? Yeah. Please. No! God damn it, Ashley! God damn it! Ah. <sighs> 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 Matumbo, I ignored you on purpose. I ignored you on purpose. There was nothing else about what was going on that distracted me just then. It was just you. <sighs> Caveman, thanks for the sub. I am in fact dead. I are dead. Alright, let's cycle around here so that one dude runs up and gets owned. Like a freaking moron, stupid idiot. Okay, maybe not him. I like all my I like all my viewers to feel special. A little dash of Lawrence specialness in your day. Let me see if I can. I hope I can suplex. That's still, that's still a really good kick. But. No suplex. No, what, 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 what? <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up, Death Moon? Good to see you. Hope you're, hope you're having a good day. <laughs>
my favorite bit to do at Funhouse. Talk about things that happened four years ago. I simply love it. Oh, he chopped my head, damn it! Oh. Oh. My head got chopped. That's the second time I've been vored by that. That's why Ashley's face is, or that's why Leon's face has been all moved around. I bet it feels really, I bet it feels really weird in there. Like all wet, all wet and tight and warm. Probably like going back into the womb, I bet, for a little bit. Hey, Thunderwolf. The very same gamer. I want to, I want him to fall down. There we go. That's what we needed. Just had to delay him a little bit. Love to see it. All right, let's get moving. You think they're going to make Diablo 4 character creator better? Because they look ugly. You think they look ugly? I don't know. I've seen some hot characters tumbling out of Diablo 4, so maybe you just haven't twiddled all the, all the knobs correctly. Or we just have different tastes. In which case, uh... I don't know if there's going to be a way to mod Diablo 4. But I'll hope for your sake. Not bad, right? Oh, so you're just upset about a... You're specifically upset about a specific class? I'm going to play another class. <laughs> oh, Bird Cop, it's not a no-go. It's just, uh... It was a long time ago. Uh, and... It was just a long time ago. Yeah. Ooh, damn it! <laughs> Not looking so good. Ow, ow! Is that just aesthetic? That might just be aesthetic fire. Just cool looking action dude fire. Actually, I. This is better than than game overing right away though. I'll say that. <sighs> Only by a little bit though. Like if you have to go out and. Uh, you have to go out and revive Ashley, you're bound to catch the next one because you're just sitting there for too long. Oy, oy, oy. But, uh, Boomer, have you considered... Have you considered that there are people out there who might be elated and delighted that the female druids look the way they do? Those people are all high-fiving each other right now. They're having a great time. High-fiving other things, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw I saw John Wick uh, on Thursday. It was fucking awesome. Cyberham, no thank you. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Uh, no, I think the druids are just wide. They're just big, big humans. Well, at least the druid I made was pretty, pretty wide. Hey, Hammy Dan. Good to see you. Hope life's good. Oh, ultimate fucked! But you got ultra fucked. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. Good shit. Love to see it. Uh oh. Okay. 
okay? Yeah. Man, God bless video games. Love it out here. Zathras 2, thank you for the sub. We've now entered suplex city limits, baby. Okay, so you do actually have to have them down to and be behind them, I think. We'll see if that's uh reliable. Too much media to consume and not enough time to do it. Living on the internet. Actually. Oh boy. You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, he's not stunned. There we go. Sorry, must have slipped. Got him. Sorry, I just slipped and did a sweet twirl kick. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Leon is the best, man. Match this man's style, you cannot. Alright, wait for this one to go off. <laughs> wow. Dr. Sinwar, thank you very much for the sub. Greetings from the beach. Why touch sand when you can watch video games and touch sand? That sounds really nice. Gamers really can't have it all. It's actually really sunny out today. Making me feel like I should go to the beach. But there's Resident Evil Remake to play. That one's probably going to tag Ashley. I shouldn't be out here. Nope. But can gamers have sex? Why would they want to? Look at you. Oh, thank you. Gamers are interested in stimulation far beyond matters of the flesh. <laughs> but their constant, uh,. Their constant battling in the gamer realm it means that gamers are absolutely superb lovemakers when they choose to do so. <sighs> Only under the watchful eyes of Leon. Man, I'm so pissed. I never got laid when I had my cardboard Leon standee. One might say that the two were actually connected, but no. Instead, I think they're just two disconnected entities. And it's a tragedy that I did not get laid while we Leon could stare at me. Yes, Umbra, I did. I worked at GameStop when Resident Evil 4 came out. And there was like a big cardboard stand-up of Leon standing there looking cool. And I took it home instead of throwing it out. And I put it in my room so that Leon could stare at me all day. And he did! I'm probably alive today just because of that, because of that Leon standee. Who knows what would have, uh... What foul temptation I might have succumbed to. My enemies probably would have got at me. Let's see here, is there some opportunity where fans can play with you? And if so, how do I get in on it? It's pretty rare, actually. Um... Ooh. Let's see here. I've I've done open stuff like honestly like sponsors usually. If there's like a mobile game or something. Uh, I play Destiny. I play Final Fantasy 14. These are pretty dorky games. Gotta be careful. Um, probably gonna play a lot of Diablo. This might be the best opportunities. But I want to save the higher value gems. For the... Yeah. Because, like, three of them is 1.4. But four of them is 1.7. What did you have in mind, Tumbo? I don't really do Am Among Us or anything. Although the... What? That's not popular anymore, is it? Rocket League? A little bit of Fortnite. A little bit of Warzone. A little bit of Apex. 
There you go. Bang. Get fucked. There were only three, right? Nope. Oh, I guess I gotta shoot the cannon now, yeah. Sucks to see it coming. What can you do though? There's literally nothing you can do aside from get shot over and over. Son of a bitch! Those never came inside before. You okay? Yeah. Hey, what's up, user? Yes, welcome to the dog zone. Welcome to the dog pound, the law dog pound. Fuck, guy. I'm annoyed that it took that many bullets. perspective you can blow this one up from. That's nice. At least they let you shoot one of them. <laughs> yeah, if only I knew somebody with a grappling hook. Is there proof that Leon uses the bathroom? That went well. Um, I don't think, I don't think the archives, aka the video games, contain any scenes with Leon pissing or pooping, which is unfortunate. Real lost opportunity from Capcom to not only show Leon pissing and pooping. Re I guess really that's it. <laughs> that's really the only opportunity. Um, did it say, f it said five out of six, right? But still, it's, it's not, I mean, it's not good to leave that behind. That's still important. It's still important to see that stuff, to know that the characters do that. It creates a sense of immersion in the world, and that's what we're all about here. Immersion. Where's that metal? I'm so immersed in Leon's quest to find the last blue metal. Because I need those spinals. You know I need those spinals. Maybe it's, it actually might be in the uh, the next room. Spinal. Da -da 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 -da. Was that Battlefront thing? Yes. A rewarding sense of progression. Love that rewarding sense of progression. It's just, I, so, here's my obs- here. Here's Lawrence's thought. It's fucking true, though. Like, that's what video games are. It's just a series of fake challenges. There's, there's an interesting thing that the gamers like to do, where they react emotionally to something, and then they're just like, well, that's clearly gone too far. And then somebody tells them literally what games are, and they're like, that's not it. No, no, that's not it. No, 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 you're wrong. But that's okay. Video games wouldn't be fun if everybody were rational. Son of a bitch. Yep, there's one more. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Can you believe this? Can you believe? Oh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. That's why I didn't find it, because Capcom is cheating. Video games are real, and Ada's my girlfriend, and Leon is my boyfriend. Yes, you're on a thruple with Leon and Ada. 
Welcome to video games. No one's going to make fun of you here. <laughs> Man, Ashley is, is doing calisthenics or something. Everyone's very gaspy in this game. A lot of breathing. A lot of efforts. I see it. Okay. Gotta be down there, I think. Or no, wait, I can get it from here. <clears throat> you got it! Gosh. There's a squirrel next to me. How should I proceed? Appreciate him. Or her. Leave the window open for communication. It might bite you. Are you, is that cool? Do you like getting bitten by squirrels? So hold on, I gotta I gotta look this up again. No, 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 no. I'm trying to remember. I think it was here. This is gonna be important soon. Spinal. There we go. Okay, good. 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 I'm glad I got that loaded up. That was important. I'm gonna need that. Squirrels bite. Yes. They're they're little nibble guys. Any any little nibble boys will bite. Rats, chinchillas. If they're nibbly, they'll bite. Everything bites, yeah. Good stuff, stranger. See, it's time. I just told why do I tab? There's no reason to tab. DJ combo. No, not What can I interest you in? No. Spinal! Well, it's too late now. Uh I tried. Where does my dad go at midnight? Uh, why are you looking for your dad at midnight? He's going to mind your damn business. That's where he's going. All right, I'm sorry I lashed out. Me and your dad have been hanging out a lot lately. And I don't, uh, this put me, puts me in a weird spot. I get defensive. Arr, I need one more spinal. Anything else I can help you with? This is bullshit. Where's my spinal? Where's my spinal? Damn it. Spinal! I need my spinal. I'll find my spinal. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. That cash in your pocket or your life. If you want a... See how that feels, mate. Fella like yourself should notice the difference. Come back any time. Him named Hopkin Green, Green Spinal. I just wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. It's true. I'm your new... I will be one of your new dads. But I'm going to warn you, I'm an absentee father. I don't give any shits. Don't ask me for anything. Except for gameplay streams. And oh. Warm welcome to my castle. Such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. This is awesome. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, please. He's like zombie Beethoven. And allow me Ramon. to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me. Now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. How novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy. Oh yeah, Margaret Thatcher. Lord Sat. Yeah, there it is. So then, you will comply. Yes. Never. I like the the adult face and head on Tiny Body. That's awesome. Do make sure our guest feels at home now that he has chosen death. Leon? Just stay close. Oh, no, oh, sorry. 
shit, whatever. Break already. Come on, baby. Up and over. Coming. Right. Yeah, that hurts. Out of the way. Leon, you're hurt. I'm all right. Don't worry. Leon's so brave. We could all seem to be a little Not more like so Leon. Good. I should pop the eyeball in there. <sighs> Look at all this treasure, though. <sighs> Look at all the treasure. Look at it. It's all on the map. They know I want it. No good. They know I need it. Is this face the only part that's modded? Um, whose face? Who? Are you who? I don't have any mods installed. This is not a modded, modded playthrough or anything. I wanted to play through it normally once uh, to get a real feel for the changes. And then after playing it normally, with everything normal, that's when I decided, or figured I would mod it, you know? So, yeah, no, there's no mods installed right now. I guess, yeah, I guess I got a booster up there. Um, no, I can't do the, I want to do the shooting thing right now, but okay, fine. I'll wait. I'm a, uh, I'm kind of a purist about, uh, the developer's vision. You know, when people, uh, when people on the internet are like, no, the developers didn't want this. They did want that. They definitely wanted all these panty shots. That's the developer's vision. I know, um, that's me, by the way. Whenever there's those posts where they're like, no, From Software would never add accessibility to Elden Ring because they hate that. I'm counting on you. Um, that's me, the person who knows all the developers and what they want out of games. So that's why I'm so protective of it. That's why I go on the internet and tell people that they're playing games wrong. Uh, and uh, just because I know, you know? And people ought to know that I know. So I tell them. So, but part of that, part of that uh, of respecting the vision is uh is not not messing around with silly mods the first time I play a game, you know. I, I yeah, Fonz, I'm glad you said it. I say it too, but it's better when somebody else says it first. I am kind of a knight. Yes. I'm kind of a, a warrior poet, but for gaming. Yeah. That's me. It's lonely. That's kind of like it's kind of, you know, it's kind of part of it. People can't celebrate you as a hero in your time because then it doesn't count. Whatever. Uh, so that's why that's why I got to cut deals on my own. You know, <laughs> I got to bezel some money so I can finally get a taste of the sweet life like I deserve. But part of that is, uh, I guess, not not being celebrated for my greatness by and large most of the time. But again, that's why I steal the money so that I feel better. I bezel, embezzle the money. I should have said embezzle. <laughs> That's not as, that doesn't sound as criminal as steal for some reason. I need to start embezzling fucking money from inside games. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? There's so many funds that I could just fucking just, just take, just run off with. I need to start making some big fucking promises that I have no intention of delivering on and just pocketing some cash. Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. It's time to get fucking rich, you know? It's 
Sure, Resident Evil 4 Remake is fun, but it would be more fun if I had $100,000. Imagine playing a video game that's exactly this. It looks the same, it, it plays the same, but you have $100,000 that you've taken from somebody else in your bank account. <laughs> Imagine how much fun that would be. Uh, uh, uh. You only unlock frame rates above 120 FPS if you're sitting on a, a net worth of over $250,000. You can only truly enjoy video games if you own real estate. I'm so, I'm just laying the, this out here, all right? This is why I need people to, to subscribe to my Patreon right now. Yeah, put it all at Silicon Valley Bank. Those fellas seem like they know what they're talking about. Uh, keyboard, Ashley was a college student in the original and the remake. She has, like, Greek s stickers on her phone. So, uh, so she's tastefully, I mean, the game doesn't sexualize her much apart from, like, a, some unavoidable panty shots in 05, believe it or not. Uh, b bizarrely tasteful for a Y2K game, but, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't. They don't pervert up too much, which is nice. Resident Evil 4 is is largely asexual, despite, yeah, the Luis Ballistics line. Yeah, that's the that's the creepiest the game gets. Really, just up and down, and they've removed it. I it doesn't it never really read well. That wasn't even his character. I guess he's supposed to be like a like a suave type, but him like bantering with Ada is way better, because then Ada can just step on him, and then everybody gets what they want. <laughs> Anyway, caretaker's note. I was awoken in the middle of the night once again. It's those awful noises coming from the basement. The sounds of nails clawing at the stone walls and the writhing moan of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served the lord of the castle as the torturer, like his father and grandfather before him. It's one of the more unsightly legacies left by the Salazar family. Even among his family, he was special. He enjoyed his work wholeheartedly and had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. I don't think this was part of Salazar lore in the original, right? That they were they were the torturers of the estate? Huh. His ability soon attracted the master's interest, and when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It will break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, dispose of the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow, go far away, where that voice cannot reach my ears. Hello, Buzz Illington. Been watching since Machinima, huh? Oh, then we've person. both outlasted multiple that's companies. And that's something to be proud of. But, luckily for you, I've founded the bedrock of of future future online entertainment and it is Law Dog Productions LLC registered with a franchise tax board in the state of California and the United States government an unstoppable force of gaming commentary anyway sign up for the Patreon so I can steal all the money thank you so what I'm gonna do is like I'll do this whole thing where I steal everyone's money and then I'll start a new company and report on the news of that so I'll double dip. Asterisk, not a scam for gamer cash. Yeah. I keep meaning to update my copyright filing with that in there. Because otherwise, people might start getting ideas when I say things like, I'm gonna steal your money. <gasps> oh no. What was that? Oh, is this where they introduce the, the, the dudes who can't see? That's pretty cool. I, I bet they can bust through all these like pipe walls too. That's a cool way of doing it, like putting you in the dark, too. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. That's pretty early, too. I think they let you... Hmm. Just take that. Just grab the key. Back up slowly. Oh. Got another interaction point there. The light is lost. <laughs> Sick. 
Cleon's got him sized up already, though. You can tell. Oh, his little chest hairies. What a great way to introduce this this enemy. Like, there's a cutscene. The character just kind of tells you he can't see you. And they're gonna let him out, right? Man, that's so good. Oh, that's so good! Yeah, of course, of course. And then all the dangly chains? Oh, man. God bless. What the fuck? Hey! Hey! He just knew where I was. Maybe I, maybe I dingle the dangle. Or he just knows the first time for free. Is sick though. Oh. What if they still have the bells. Oop. Does that count? Is that enough? I gotta do this little loop. What the? I think he always just turns towards you. Just to keep it spicy. So you can't just loop around behind him all the time. Spice. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. He smells Leon's brute. Man. That is a thick lad. Maybe that's why they didn't make Leon even beefier. Because they beefed up some of the other enemies. I guess they were pretty pretty beefed out in the original. Hmm. Yeah, it's time to use this, I think. Hmm. Leon a brute guy? I feel like he would pick something that's blue. Aqua Velva. Or like iron. <laughs> something called iron. Where'd you get the spoon? At the store. There's a mod. 
tactical spoon. Oh wait, I'm not using that. It makes it the knife. Spa. See? <laughs> Leon's a cool guy. I don't know if you guys know this. Nautica Blue. Yeah, that's it. It'd be like a one gallon jug he got at the duty free the first time he went on an international assignment. Go. Oh. oh, it's you. <laughs> what happened down there? Nothing. You were right about the animals, though. Nothing. You're not gonna. Well, I guess he probably doesn't want to freak her out. What's with that look on your face, Leon? Did you just swallow a whole lemon? You okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. We've already established that Leon's primary method of eating is to unhinge his jaw and swallow his food whole. So maybe he mistook an, a lemon for an egg. We've all been there. Oh, I hear a... Hear a toy. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's like a little orchestra hit when you hit them. It's great. Wing! It's mine all. Oh, wait, hold on. It's time. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Spinal! Yeah! Yeah! I did it. I did it. Whew! Okay, pressure's off. Now I can just stream. <laughs> I don't have to worry about hitting that spinal anymore. I mean, I will. Just wanted to land one good one. And I'll keep an eye out. Hmm. <laughs> sword. Go into sword. Hmm. <laughs> then. Okay. There's a puzzle here. We got puzzle. It's puzzle time. Oh, I can't do it again. All right. Bet you could ring those gongs by shooting them. No, Ashley, thank you. God damn, am I glad you're here. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jeez. You saved me from looking around for 30 seconds. Fantastic. So excited. All right. Well, let's shoot the things, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, common Ashley W. She's right! When she's right, she's right. Let me tell you, that's the one thing they don't prepare you for being a streamer. Is being backseated and then fucking chat being right. Fucking chat. Fuck. You're sitting there smug as hell, confident, and they're telling you all the things you're doing wrong, and you're like, fuck off. Fuck off. And you feel great. And then you realize in the end that you have to do the thing that they told you to do, and you're like, shit. Fuck. What's that used for? Well, it's just a replica. 
Only a couple of uses for it. And that's when you... That's when you cause an emotional scene. To distract everyone. So that they don't realize you've just been humbled. They don't teach you that at streamer school? They don't. They don't. You gotta beat Battletoads before you can graduate. They don't teach you about... Fucking chat. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the bloody one. Golden sword. Rusted sword. Iron sword. Bloodied sword. I will collect all the swords. Then I will distribute them according to their station. Nice, Umber Witch. Nice move. Nice move with the Riddick commands there. Nice one. Nice. That really does empty out chat. Wow. Man, Riddick is cool. Is that a new command? Fairly new. Yeah, I think I added it yesterday. Okay, it's been a while. Actually, wait. Hold on. Jesus, that took forever. Okay. It's been a long time since I smelled beautiful. Uh, Riddick's so cool. Riddick is so cool. Look at him working that. Look at him working the angles. He's almost as cool as Leon, but not as cool as Leon. Wait. Is he as cool as Leon? Oh, damn it. I wish I didn't think that. I don't want Riddick and Leon to fight. That's the last thing I want. Oh, yeah. Right. There's a puzzle here. Hmm. Maybe he gives him the golden sword. It's bloodied in battle, then it becomes rusted. I don't understand why he's like, he's already a knight, but then he gets knighted? Or it's like, he has a normal sword. He's given a golden sword. He thinks the golden sword is special, but it's not. He kills dudes with it. But he still dies in the end. Yeah! Huh. Guess you were right. Streamer school makes my head hurt. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot a lot of homework at streamer school. You got to game a lot. You got to read off a lot of people's names. Say thanks for the sub. Not a lot of people are cut out for that. That life, thanking people. Gotta not get cancelled? That's the hardest of all. Gosh. Look to your left. Now look to your right. Two of you will be cancelled. This is the same room as before, isn't it? I guess we just circled around. Are you implying I don't know where I'm going? Is there no anime for, like, influencer school yet? That would actually be... A great idea, and I'm glad that I just thought of it. I mean, I guess they've had reality shows that are basically influencer school. Which, why would you not want to put a bunch of, like, aspiring influencers, underage aspiring influencers together and let them yell at each other? I guess that's just MTV. Don't even think about trying this yourself. Dropping a 2005 as if. Love it. Oh, is it timed? I bet it's timed. Did he? Maybe the other door opened. Oh, wait, you have to light them up and then just go open the door. Yeah. You still jump on swinging chandeliers? Seriously, who does that? Where are you, my mother? Got her! Zoom! Yeah, that one landed, didn't it? Uh, 
Yeah, you know, needs a riz straining order. Yeah, he's dazzling him out there. Leon, give him a break. At least let him put on sunglasses first. I am hoping to hear more banter between Ashley and Leon. Which is really Ashley being normal and well-adjusted and Leon being a dork. A highly trained assassin, super elite agent with super sweet kung fu ability dork. He's also good at shooting guns and knives. <laughs> Man, Leon's cool. I just, I just can't stop thinking about it. Oh, if only I had a cardboard Leon to look at me while I sleep again. You never rest as soundly as you do while a Leon standee is a looking at you from across the room. Not this guy again. I'm taking the liver you're preparing. Some entertainment for you. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess fair. Milady. Could Leon or could John Wick beat Leon? <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Probably. Ugh. Ugh. What's funny is, like, RE6 Leon has a ton of John Wicky shit. He's got a lot of cool pistol gun kata stances and, sh and stuff. And, like, sweet kung fu flips. So, really, they'd probably get along. Kindred spirits. Really. Parasites in their ecology, Volume 2. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. This is basic knowledge among most biologists, but not much is known as how the parasites do it. The following is a list of several such parasites. Oh, I remember this. Dichrocolium. Once the larva of this parasite migrate to the ant's esophagus, they alter the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening during peak grazing hours, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible with the intention of being eaten. Galactos Galactosomum. The larvae of this parasite make their home inside the brain of a fish such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish makes its way up to the water's surface where it will swim, where it will swim until eaten by seabirds. Leucochloridium. This parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's eye stalks, where they pulsate like worms. They alter the snail's behavior and force it to move to the top of a plant and make it more visible to birds. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Then, yeah, there's videos of this, and it looks ridiculous. That's, like, exactly the same lore entry on me. that was in uh, the original RE4, I think. I like how Leon just told her to follow me, and then he bangs right into a door that doesn't open. I know where I'm going, follow me. Wham. Oh yeah, Joe Malik. Yeah, no, I've seen the, the uh, GameCube. The, uh... Definitely seen the, uh, the chainsaw controller. I worked at GameStop when Resident Evil came out, and we sold those things. And they were a pain in the ass, because they didn't stack on shelves at all. <laughs> you could stack them on top of each other, which was nice, but they had that giant chainsaw blade sticking out, so... It was really hard to put them on shelves. I remember a couple of times we would like stack them up and then somebody would just walk by and their like shoulder would clip one of them and like knock four of them on the ground. <laughs> there were a, there were some fun gimmick controllers back then. There was a PlayStation 2 controller that was a Dragon Quest slime. You had to flip it upside down and then all the sticks and buttons were on the bottom. You just kind of like held it like an onion. I remember there was like, there were a whole bunch of controllers that just looked fundamentally uncomfortable. Like Guts Monster controllers that had like teeth and shit coming out of them for people who were dark and twisted, I guess. I don't know. Or Guts was more of an aesthetic back then in general. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're coming in. Oh, I don't have any grenades. I have one grenade. Anytime. Okay. Get back here. Oh, 
shit! <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> so ridiculous. Ah, oh, I don't have another green arrow. Ah, oh, God. There's legitimately not a not a moment where I can try to take out these freaking crossbow dudes. Oh, I couldn't stop. If I stop to shoot at the dudes, the crossbows light me up. If I try to shoot the crossbows, the dudes light me up. There's just no... There's no winning. And then if I try to run to get space, then Ashley immediately gets grabbed. Be careful. Oh, Jesus. Why'd he sign that? Sound like that clown from Spawn? You mean the Violator? Played by John Leguizamo? I just watched Spawn the other day. That movie rules. And yeah, John, Le John Leguizamo puts out a hell of a performance in that movie. Leon, they're here. Ah, the entertainment. Hmm. There you go. Already. Where did you even come from? You hurt? No, I'm okay. What the fuck, dude? I can't. S Leon! I don't know what they want from you in this room. It's just maybe you have. Maybe I have to backtrack out. Maybe I can like draw them out into this hallway. Be careful. That would be a lot easier than being surrounded by a million freaking crossbow dudes. These guys suck. Leon, they're here. Ah, the entertainment. The door doesn't open. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. Present for you. Ashley. Go right. Yeah, I'm fine. Damn, man. This combat is really good about not giving you a break. They're, they will not just stand around and watch you while you do whatever you want. shot Leon Leon does what it Leon does what he needs to do Leon's a man's man he'll shoot a dude right in the dick he'll do it I hear clankety clanks what is that I don't trust it I don't trust it yeah tactical cock shot 
Leon used his tactical abilities. He surveilled the situation, scanned the environment, analyzed all the data, ran a million game plans. And you know what? He was like, I got to shoot this dude right in the dick. And he did it. And he won. There was a Ruoni Kenshin episode about a lone samurai facing multiple opponents. Huh. I've not seen a whole lot of Ruoni Kenshin. People remember it pretty fondly. Yeah, when like when Robocop shot through that lady's dress. Exactly. Exactly. We saw all the math. Fractal spiraling off into into space. I gotta shoot this guy in the dick. Great strategy. Dick shots, the smart play. For the modern intellectual. I see all these dudes. Okay, I'm just gonna start peppering them with a pistol. Little pistol pepper? Pep. Pepper, pickle, pep. Pickle, pep, pe pe pistol, pistol. Where are you headed off to? What are you doing? Take him. Can you use that ACOG scope on your current sniper rifle, or are you waiting to get a better one? Uh, I guess I still have it. Yeah, look at that. There we go. I guess I just assumed the scope wouldn't work for some reason. Before chat claims that as some kind of fucking backseating victory, I already knew that, all right? I was just pretending not to, because uh, it makes the stream better. Oh, there's two of them. It is so much more efficient to use a flashbang on these guys. Oh, oh no! There's also that. Anytime, Leon. Don't worry. You just might get your head sucked off and not in the fun way. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh... Oh. I can't load it back into my crossbow. Fear my tactical spoon. Tack spoon.
this game's ripping off Halo now. Ashley lets out bellowing farts when she's off screen. Good for her. What if there was a game and it was like a, a one in a thousand chance where a character just farts in the middle and like no one acknowledges it. Just, that's it. And everyone's like, wait, did, did they just fart? And then they post online like, I think Mark, like I think, I think Leon farted. Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Leon doesn't fucking fart. It's a video game. And while Capcom's just giggling, just <laughs> looking at the subreddits like, <laughs> I guess, um, gosh, there was tripping in Smash Brothers. I'm trying to think of like memes, deep memes. Oh shit. Fuck. I knew it. Did you? It doesn't count if it's like. If it happens all the time. Oh yeah, keyboard cowboy, exactly. The the random goofy reloads in Battlefield. Was it Hardline, I think? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You need more weird wacky shit. I guess Mortal Kombat sometimes would have pretty goofy bonuses and, and super rare arcane secrets. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, I blew his arm off! Oh! Wow! Yar villain, thanks for the sub. Have you been? How's your Star Wars adventures? I. Oh, well, hold on a minute. I actually have the next Force Friday game here. Show it off here in a minute. Yeah, that's what that's what I need. I need developers putting weird stuff in their games and then gaslighting the entire player base that it's not real. But here is the next star-studded entry. Hold on a minute. In Force Friday, it's the PC exclusive Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith Activity Center. From Ubisoft. Look at all this cool stuff in here. It's got calendar. Oh, printable goodies. Calendars, greeting cards, and writing paper. Stickers and name tags. Bookmarks and door hangers. It's got some mini games. One puzzle game. One action game. It's got both. It's got both the games. Who needs anything more? Not me. So, uh, yeah. I don't think this will take long to experience. But, uh... I will be playing this one of these Fridays, probably next Friday. Please don't disturb Star Wars Episode 3. I would never. See, so yeah, I'm going to play through it and then uh, give it away. I need to, I probably need to set up a, I'll try it on Windows 11. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to guess this is going to need a virtual machine, but that's fine. That's not the worst, really. But yeah, it definitely sounds like a Hideo Kojima thing. I mean, he put himself in Ground Zeroes, which is pretty sick. Hey, awesome. We're not out of the woods yet. I like how huge this space is. Gaming needs more gaslighting and stealth patches, kind of like when Elite Dangerous had alien stealth patched in and thought it was a hoax until someone recorded it. Yes. Yeah, the way Elite Dangerous did it was super, super cool. Just the aliens start randomly encountering players and people like... People go bananas trying to talk about it online and with no information or no validation from developers. I love it. Does BB fart in a Death Stranding count? Peeing. See, Death Stranding is odd because it's a game that's very in tune with bodily functions but rarely uses them for like... Rarely uses them in directly as gag mechanics or like as a joke they have like a gameplay purpose and it's really based on you the player the choosing to get your peeps or poops 
or peeing in the world. So, there, there are, I don't think there are any scripted farts. You're gonna be okay. They even like. Yeah, I, I, I got this. They even when you're when you're deucing it, they even uh, play a motorcycle sound, so it sounds like toots. It sounds like root, roots and toots. So that's funny, but it's like still kind of reserved. I don't know. Death Stranding has a weird sensibility. All right. Uh, Metal Gear Solid had had some leaky shits. Johnny Sasaki had the had the big time Alaska runs. Be careful. Labodanza. Okay, the horses in Red Dead 2 fart. Hmm. They did poo. Hmm. These are good questions. These are valuable questions to ask, and I'm glad we're asking them. Yet another reason this chat, this stream really, is doing the cultural work that our society has gone without for too long. Thank you. I'm not just looking for peas and poops in gaming. I feel like I feel like this is getting a little too simplified. I need I mean video game characters that have farted in games that are not wholly about farts. You heard? Like it can't be a recurring thing. Just one fart. Maybe two. I feel like that probably happened in Hi Fi Rush. One of my favorite things that hasn't happened in a long time, maybe it was overdone, is the awkward fart. When, like, there's a moment of tension, and then there's a beat, and then someone just goes, and then everyone just kind of looks around. It's been a while, you know? It's been a while since we've had a tension-breaking fart. Which are three? <gasps> oh, the guards fart. Yeah, they do. Also, hey, Blake. Oh, I couldn't throw a flashbang and murder all of the crows. Maybe they'll land. They didn't. Does John Halo ever fart? If he does, I'm gonna guess his robot pants probably recycle the fart fumes and blow it back into his face to fuel his his battle rage. He's always sniffing his own farts and it just like puts him into some kind of primal battle zone. Dr. Halsey found out that if you, if recruits huff their own farts, they go into a battle frenzy. Cortana stores them. <laughs> she analyzes the scent patterns of every fart and stores them digitally. She has the digital understanding of a fart, but not the emotional understanding. And that's that's why AI go rampant in Halo. Hopefully they'll have that in season two of the show. Uh-oh. That reminds me, I, I mentioned this in another stream, but I've been watching a lot of VC Andrews movies lately. 
And it's very much the sort of thing where the second somebody coughs, they are dead. Sure, that means they have cancer, and they're going to die. <laughs> I can't remember what movie it was, but there was like a, yeah, there was a scene where some character was talking, and they were like, <coughs> and we were like, oh, that's it, you're out. It doesn't matter that you're the lead character's dad and uncle-in-law, or whatever, and husband. Looks like the right place. You okay? Leon looks like he's the product of a VC Andrews romance, that's for sure. Instead of worrying about her, worry about your own skin. Foolish little leg. Cinematic magic. Temperance, child. Ashley. That was pretty cool. She looked evil. Uh, keyboard. You can you can try you could try, but I did just look at every single mod that is currently well every mod that's on Nexus mods. You should be aware that most of the mods there are for the chainsaw demo and aren't exactly working for the main game yet. But if you would like to, you can send me a mod. There's a high probability I've already tried it. End this. And D's, thank you very much for the sub. If I'm watching a Western, I hear any character's cough, I immediately say, hmm, sense of tuberculosis. Yeah. The way that they did that in Red Dead 2 was just like, was so good. Man. I mean, it's like, it's a bit tropey, but then again, it was a thing back then. And the way that they played it out and the way that they had like, they had that make Arthur Morgan's character like it was the literal visitation of him doing a very bad thing it was the it was the literal embodiment of the corruption in his soul uh, and it was it was put there specifically because he did a very bad thing I love it it was so interesting because like I remember when Red Dead 2 came out and everybody was like oh I really didn't like that scene and I was like hey you're not supposed to uh, Arthur Morgan's not a great guy but that has to happen <laughs> okay that is a good mod that I haven't tried Actually, I'll check that out. Thank you, keyboard cowboy. See, this means I gotta, I gotta. You can't, you can't assume you know everything, because here's Canon Ashley, with her Canon appearance. She looks like Toby, a house Ashley. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was rad. That's one of those writing things that's like legitimately good prose like like quality writing and red dead 2 is like on a tier with maybe 10 20 games tops that do that yeah from that moment it became a story about whether the actions you take as arthur absolve him from the actions he's taken in his life prior to the game similar to red dead 1 exactly exactly and that's brilliant too because it actually leaves a lot of volition in the hands of the player as to how that narrative turns out and all the writing from arthur from that point is actually pretty pretty like uh middle of the road in terms of what the character actually says about what they're doing. The rest of it is expressed through you. Oh, so good. So, so good. I'm gonna use the restroom. I got myself all worked up. Now I gotta piss. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm back and it's time to game. Hold on, let me check those results. Like Doris Minden is. Use a cannon to defeat a zealot. Yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so they kind of stack up as you play, and then they, it shows them all when you hit that screen. The gaming is just warming Bruce, come up. in. Things went to shit. We took refuge inside a castle, but I've just been separated from Baby Eagle. Say and you. Bruce, you're breaking up. Do you read me? Number one. In. Chopper. Damn it! So much for that. <clears throat> uh, having a rough day, stranger. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I'm happy to look over and see continued appreciation well, of Red Dead too. I've got something new for you. Cause yeah, keyboard cowboy. I agree. The uh. I'll buy almost anything. Thank you. The journal Will in Red Dead Two is is instrumental. Oh. I got the one spinal I needed. Oh, my back is killing me. Where are you gonna put this? Your pocket? Can you not craft from this this screen? I guess not. Can you not back out? Oh, you can't. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Gun will look great with that comeback. It need time. Yes. Now that is a firearm. Love it. Well, we're back in the we're back in the zone. Things on sales. Back in the flow. Ooh. That Shots explosions reduces the damage for close quarter attacks. Life. Oh, it has durability as well. That's fascinating. I offer repair services as well. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's it's interesting to have more more and more things to spend money on as the game goes you goes by. Bang for your buck, I guarantee it. Well, then, what can I do you for? Yeah, my favorite thing in Red Dead 2 is uh, cutscene Arthur being like, I'm a bad man, so bad and mean. Then you open his journal and look at cute drawings of rabbits and other animals. And yeah, yeah, just a lot of uh, a lot of introspection, a lot of character depth that you just don't get from cutscenes. It's it's so brilliant, really. Uh, sorry, I was winding up to, to gush about this, but I got distracted. But yeah, to use that as the medium, like that's exactly where you can convey a lot of character depth. A journal like that it's also exactly where players who don't care about that won't find it like it doesn't get in the way of the experience so just the mechanics of, of packing that all into the into the journal is so smart and since I feel like reading out of every way of I guess appreciating the arts I feel like reading is the most cerebral not to say it's the smartest but it, it like it automatically engages the imagination right it has to uh, you have to take written word which aside from its font or its color doesn't do a whole lot to, to convey emotion and image and you interpret all of that into a universe inside your own head it makes it deeply personal but that's also the perfect place to have that aspect of the plot where it is a lot of like philosophical questioning and uh description of events from his perspective and things so super super cool stuff man man that game's good. i would say his actions in the end redeemed him hmm you know when i was thinking too uh a lot of the a lot of the themes that red dead 2 deals with are present in last of us part 2 but but golly do i appreciate one a lot more than the, than the other one no i shouldn't say it like that one resonated with me way clearer and cleaner than the other. Um, and it like has an ending <laughs> and, and manages to provide a lot of insightful commentary on its subject matter. Uh, and man, do I just not get a whole lot of that from the other thing. But anyway, whatever. Uh, there's no point in, I should only say the good things. Only say the good part. That's the rule of life. Only say the good thing. Just say the good thing and simply stop talking. Kind of makes sense when readers get pissed about movie adaptations. Yeah, it's in direct conflict with the rendering of the world they imagined. Oh, sh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that. I think it's a, it's the mixture of that and the fact that when you're the one who imagined it, it's so personal. And you, I think people don't often realize the maybe the automatic imagination that happens and the and like the way that that makes you makes it so personal. I think um, role-playing can be the same way. 
it requires so much uh, automatic imagination that it can it can be much more deeply personal. The only thing to do it perfectly for now and ever, Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. I I read those books and I thought I knew what what that world looked like. But when I saw the movies, it was like, that's it. Or you know what? That's better. That's that's closer. <laughs> this is actually how I felt. When I fucking saw the Balrog for the first time, I was like, that's it. That's what a Balrog looks like. It's It has such a loose description in the book. But fuck, you see it in the movie and you're like, that, there it is. I feel like that's... That's... I remember trying to play Shadow of War and Shella like turned into a hot babe and I was like, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's the first time seeing Lord of the Rings stuff that I was like, that, that ain't it. That doesn't look at all like what was in my head. I guess I need, need to just like be like, well, it can be its own thing then. What's wrong with that? Okay. Travels. Gotta well, make room for that stock. And then I guess... So what's left? Wait. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Say Arthur was a good man doing bad things. Yeah, he. I mean, he very definitely did bad things. I think. Uh, I think you can't separate dis discussion of his character from the fact that he is the player character, because there's a there's a literal uh, unknown about his actions, and I think his character is crafted around that. He talks a lot about how he he has like. He has chaotic impulses and stuff, which is like literally how players play that game. They uh, they go around and they they randomly shoot people or torture people, and then they turn around and like deliver somebody's somebody's groceries. Last of Us Two wasn't about redemption though; it was about the cost of revenge and what you have to give up versus what you get in return. Eh. I think it's about cycles. It's about cycles of trauma. Is is what I think it's actually about. That's 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 the plot that happens under the plot about the cycles of violence. Because the the like the back and forth that part two is teeing up is like Abby's trying to change and Ellie can't. Uh, there Abby's changing the cycle and Ellie's stuck in it. Um, and what that's an interesting idea. Uh, and I guess their conflict then even becomes like. Are we slave to our traumas, or can we, can we interpret them and live with them and and change our our actions because of them? Yeah, someone got me going on Last of Us too. This is the good part, though. This is this is being as kind as I is. Well, it's not kind. It's what's in the it's what's in the story, and those are cool themes. I like it. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, I, okay. I was like, Man, Leon's all tack armored up. It is a shame to have more clothes. Cosmic Slop, thank you for the sub. Hmm. No targets. I'm going to do guitar. I did it. Just be completely objective and we'll be good. <laughs> it is a game where you shoot. Yeah. There is shooting. You don't have to shoot, though. You can probably play it without shooting. Oh, hey, hey, wow, yeah, hey. A lot of... Oh, you're, you're dead. You're all dead. Are you? Yeah. This is messed up. It is a game where you shoot. Otherwise called a shoot game. Shoot games are one of two kinds of video games. The other being wrestling games. You guessed it. In wrestling games, you wrestle. You won't find guns in wrestling games. Similarly, you won't find a lot of wrestling in shoot games. But one game aims to change all that. Capcom's Resident Evil 4. 
Releasing for the first time in 2023. <sighs> Consign the crimson flame. The voice of pestilence dwells in the flames, leading to the leaving the pitiful souls to salvation. Consign the crimson flame to its rightful place, for you shall be enlightened and the path revealed. The crimson flame to its rightful place. Very well. Gloria las playas. Vamos a la playa. Okay, I think I, I think his head's in there. That's where a head would be, right? Resident Evil 4 is taking the shooter game genre to Suplex City. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I got him. Ow. Oh, the psychic damage, right? Las plagas. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's a lot of dudes. Wow. There's so many dudes around that corner. Okay. Let's. No. Other way. Oof. Okay. There's another one of those. Great. Uh. Is the is the dude screaming making their heads explode? If you want high level narratives, you should play Killer Seven. I've been wanting to play Killer Seven again. I feel like uh, Killer Seven was one of those games where like I I I don't know if it's I don't know if it's brilliance or pretense, but it's one of those games where like it starts making sense right near the end, and then you kind of they kind of I guess expect you to play it again, knowing all of that stuff. What a... I don't know, though. I don't remember nearly any of the actual story. Because it all seems so disconnected and nonsensical. And I really only played it once. I always meant to go back to it. I bet it would look amazing in modern high resolution. High, high frame rates and stuff? I'm trying to kite these guys to the barrel over here. And not blow myself up. Oh... Oh, I know. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh no! 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 Don't fuck this up. This is gonna be cool. It wasn't very. I mean, I couldn't look. That's the annoying thing. There's three of them. No! 
no, no, no. What's going on? Oh, he's going away. He's getting away. Damn, I could have stabbed him. <sighs> okay. Sorry, the, uh, unfortunately the mod command doesn't link to this. There's only like two. There's only two mods I'm using. This one's called Len. I think I got spat on at. Oh my gosh. This combat is getting really intense. These enemies just don't go down anymore. Hmm. And man, flashbangs are. Or flash grenades are. Liquid gold. Or sparkly gold. Yeah, I was spat upon. How dare they? First of all, how dare they? Okay. okay, yeah, they just they show it right at the beginning. Never mind. Is he doing this? Wow! He like slapped me into grabbing me. He gave me the slappy grab. Okay, so you gotta kill this dude. What is what is going on? What the fuck? Holy shit! That's fun. I just got one dude with it though. Go. Does he run faster than me? I think he might. Yeah, he's he's gone. Where the heck did he go? My head. I'm done. Yeah, okay, he's down. Jesus. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, I want to bunch up all the sprouted dudes that I can. So I can flash them. Give them the fish. Maybe out here? Actually, doesn't seem too bad. I don't know if it's going to hit the whole room. I hope so. 
<sighs> there you go. Oh yeah. Okay. He has a baby face. Why do you have a baby face? Right? Who are you asking? Oh shit. I guess there's one that didn't go. <laughs> ah! Jesus! Uh. How can they still kill? Ah! Still, they're still like so uncanny at just getting you. They just get you. Hey, teardrops. How's it going? I'm taking out some some bad mans. Out of the way. Yeah, you tell him. See, doing it with style too. That's important. Hmm. Feeling good, looking good, killing good. Check something real quick. <sighs> okay, I think uh how long have I been been streaming now? Oh geez, two hours. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up on TikTok for now. If you're watching there, first of all, thank you very much. But uh <laughs> uh sorry, teardrops, you just got here. Damn. Well, I'm going to keep streaming on Twitch, so I'll be over there. I'm not supposed to go for, like, I guess, extended amounts of time, but I did anyway, so. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be on Twitch if you want to keep watching. Hopefully you do. I'll see you next time. Appreciate it. Steph made a... Steph cooked a pizza. So now I smell pizza, which is the coolest thing to do while you're gaming. It's exactly what you want to smell, but it's making it hard to concentrate. Pizza. P I Z Z A. Damn, man, that song gets me in a state every time. Just really puts me in the zone. I don't know what kind of zone, but I go there right away. And I'm in there for real. It's kind of like being underwater. Well, that's pretty obvious, right? There's something else to it. It's like being under a weighted blanket, maybe? Calzone. Ah! It's like being in a calzone. That's what it's like. Yes. Yes. That's what... It's, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Crimson Statue. Crimson Lantern back in the place. Yeah, yeah. Devious puzzle. Very tricky. Leon had to flex all, both of his IQ points for that one. Those two brain cells are all fried out now. My man is all down on calories. He's getting grumpy. Ah, it's locked. There's a treasure in here he can't get. Pizza. You can stop right there, Leon. Yes. Wouldn't make me use this. 
Would you? Oh, is this when he's gonna mansplain knives? Well, after six years, that is one hell of a greeting, Ada. You don't seem surprised. Interesting. <laughs> Try using knives next time. Better for close encounters. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So who are you working for this time? Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. God, the chemistry. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now. And who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Right. How about we continue this discussion another time? I'll pick up my banana. Women. I thought I'd run to here. Women, am I right, Leon? Leon's got some thinking to do now. These broads, Psh, chicks. <clears throat> Get a load of these like trick these door. tricks, these dames, these birds. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Leon's got some pent up frustrations. Hey, Gweepies. Why does Leon look so peeved? He's horny. Yeah. His wiener's all wrangled up. All wrinkled. He's wiener wrinkled. That much should be obvious. Let's see. Key items and treasures. Does this count as like a 1.2 bonus if they're both red? Oh, it does. That's the only bonus you can get. That's all you get. That's all you can do. This other, it's like 1.1. You can't even get the 1.2 with any other color because there's no other duplicate. I guess, I guess you could put a higher value one in, but why would you do that for a 1.2? No, don't do that. I beat the game already. I just did it. That was easy. Gosh, Capcom. Oh, you don't have to choose where they go? Aw. Oh, now you have to choose where they go. All right. Oh. 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 Bazinga. Thank you, Joe. That should do it. Thank you, Joe, for reminding me of the cool thing that I say when I solve puzzles like that. Bazinga. I've been workshopping that one a little bit. That's my new. I'm thinking about that being my new phrase. I think it works. All right. Need to find Ashley. Kalina asks me to bring back the male tail. What? What is a male tail? I'm not familiar with that. Illuminados, chapter 3, verse 2. Hear the signal echo through the mountains. Rocks become gravel and the castle walls crumble. Behold the crimson shade of the night sky. A river of tainted blood befouls the sea. Sacrifice your life and the blood of your enemy. Atone for your ancient sins. Well, there you got it, folks. We'll be passing around the tithing plate. Oh, it's just whale tail on men? Okay. Oh, great. So it's just dudes wearing... Wearing thigh highs? That high-rise hip. Is there a mod to give Leon a rockin' dumpy? Um, 
I don't know that I've seen that yet. There's de there. I mean, there's mods that just make them fully nude. There are flaccid and erect penis variants. The one thing that is a shame is that I think there ought to be a mod where there's a button that like toggles it. But you know, that's easy for me to say. I'm not the one that has to make it. Yes, permanent. Leon can be fully boned out the entire duration of Resident Evil 4. If you so choose. I don't know if it has physics, Morgie. I'd actually be pretty surprised, but maybe it does. I don't know how, how robust the, uh, pun intended, tools are. Nude, permanently erect with that face and spoon. Just getting close to a Yakuza character now. Mr. Spoon. Darren, 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 Darren. There are a few of, uh... Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, these things! I forgot about these things. Christ. Oh, they're fast. There are a few that have Leon wearing a tactical thong. Which is pretty good. Like, real tack tack hammock kind of situation. My boner button of choice is scroll up on the mouse wheel. Helps with the immersion. Yeah, you're just zoop. It's the same it's the same motion. There's a beauty when the kinesthetics of a game match its its digital motions as well. And that is one such moment of beautiful serendipity. <laughs> Take a look. I also like the phrase boner button of choice. Welcome. Well then, what can I do? Well then. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no. <laughs> Thank you. What you see is what I've got. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. Keep hitting the wrong button, man. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. Try that on for size. Knife needs care every once in a while. Could be the difference between them. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. There you are, as you wished. Try that on for size. <sighs> Any time. Just an absolute bevy of upgrades. Love to see it. Love to feel it. Love to be here for it. All right. Time for a pizza break. Pizza break. Pizza break. Pizza. Wait, hold on. Real quick. Hey, everyone. Thanks for your patience. I've returned. Uh, you might notice that it's a slightly different resolution than before. <laughs> I, uh, my, like, monitor went into power saving mode and it changed the... Yeah. Changed it. Don't worry, we'll get a we'll ratchet it back up. Get all those pixels. And we're back. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm here to tell you that the pizza was delicious. It's got a crypt keeper laugh. That rules. said meeting you once was enough. What, three feet off the ground? All right. <laughs> Booyah. 
What kind of pizza? Just a simple pepperoni. A Red Baron home ovened pizza. Ovened with love and natural gas. I'm an enemy of the state with my gas oven. I'm a proud conservative and I cook with natural gas. Oh, here. You're expecting me. Oh shit! It's a claw. You just need it to die. No! Shit, he got me. Wow. <clears throat> ah, man. I just couldn't land those those shots on that, that little bug fell when it jumped off. But yes, you simply have to give it up for Chef Steph. Chef Steph? Ah. Oh. Well, I've got the stock now. Let's see if I can snipe. She said meeting you once was enough. Maybe this isn't worth it. I'm starting to think this isn't worth it. All right. Has anyone played Tenchu? I have played Tenchu a very small amount. It's weird because, like, the only Tenchu I played was the From Software one. And I thought it was a From Software series for the longest time. And weirdly got it confused with Armored Core for the longest time. Because it was, like, that other... Well, I guess it was before Souls, but it was just, like... It was one of the... Whenever From Software did a series, I guess. They all just got mixed up for me. Even though they are wildly different games. Oh, shit. Can you... I wonder if you can... Knife parry the punches. No, he just punches me. He just punches you. Okay. Ew. At least I get all my pistol rounds back. Yeah, they're really creepy. They, the way that they just run up to you. Ugh. Favorite Tenchu game is Sekiro. You know what's weird? I mean, I guess those. Oh, I guess those comparisons have been made. But I remember when they announced Sekiro, I was like, "What?" She said meeting you once. Not just Tenchu? It's kind of not, though. Like, Tenchu is way more, like, slow, right? It's like stealth. Oh, you were expecting me. Out of the way. Whoa, that got them both. Weird. Did it actually start out as a Tenchu game? Because that makes a lot of sense then. I should have. Well, I guess I didn't get an interview slot. I would have asked about it. I remember going to a preview event for that. What the? What? Oh. I guess I could see it starting out that way, but like, I guess from software doesn't own Tenchu, so I don't know what that I don't know what that means. Maybe that's why they decided to make it their own thing. Yes, I did get the inside game. But clearly not. Clearly, there's Tenchu trivia. Ooh, no! Absolutely not! God damn! Oh, God, get off! 
hate these things. Oh god, they're so bad. They stabbed me. Yeah, From Software has a deep past. They've always been a quirky developer. It's it's really weirdly exceptional that they've gotten so big. And Elden Ring truly is their first like world class hit. Just in terms of sales, not in terms of like gaming impact or anything like that. So it's uh it's weird, man. You you look at From Software at any place other than the last 5 years and there's like no chance. There's no chance they ever get to the status that they have or the sales or the anything. It just doesn't seem like that kind of company. That's not why they're what they do. It's uh it's weirdly validating in a way. That like if you do just continue to make whatever seems like a good idea or your design process is focused around something other than just sort of chasing or imitating what's on the market. Just the, the original ideation. Where the heck is this treasure? Dunloaded Retro Arc? They can do to play their first game, Kingsfield. Yeah, I've... I largely hear from people who have played Kingsfield that, like, the first one is... I don't know, it's probably worth probably worth just checking out. But it doesn't seem like it's a very comfortable game to finish. I've never seriously played it myself. I remember going over to a friend's house when I was in high school. I think he had rented Kingsfield 2 or 3. I think it was 3. that give me? Ah, here we go. Yeah, Kingsfield is, is kind of the prototype of Demon Souls, which then, you know, became Dark Souls and, and gamer history was made. The first video game, Dark Souls, showed the world what video games could do. Yeah, video game history is fascinating, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. A rich history that started initially on the upon the release of Dark Souls. Oh, okay, I see. So there's is there a way to get huh. Quote, do you think you're going to be remembered for? I don't know. Probably one of the dumb ones. People love it when you say dumb things. That's what I've learned. That's what I've learned about the human condition. You just say dumb stuff. People love it. Just think of the dumbest thing you could say and then say it <laughs> without regrets and people will love you.
We got flipping doors. I love this. Yeah, I could see. I would, I would accept weed philosophy being entered into the quote Hall of Fame, because at least that gives you something to think about, you know, something to chew on there. Just not, not like surface level racism bait or something. There's de there's depth. <laughs> oh, God. Out of the way. Damn right. Like a freight train, chugga chugga. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> Lab Lollin? Lab Lollin? Hmm. I am still around. I'm going to be around forever. I'm going to be a brain in a jar gaming. Best in the business. The ragdolls are so good. Man. The way they flop, the way they like take take bullets and stuff. <laughs> Quality flops in these ragdolls, that's for sure. I'm so terrified that I'm missing all sorts of treasures. They can hide treasures in here so easy. Just like random backtracks you have to do to go through doors and stuff. Uh-uh. No. I'm not having it. They're trying to they're trying to mess with me. Mm -mm. Not today, Capcom. They're trying to steal my treasure. That's what they're trying to do and it's pissing me off. I'm not going to let them do it. They want to. They want to take that treasure. They want me to not have it. I'm going to buy so many upgrades with that treasure they don't even know. Damn it. It's not through here. I guess dropping down will probably do it. Damn, no, it's in there. Door stuck. So you just gotta go back around this way. <laughs> yeah, Lemongrass, I was very grateful that Bruce played along with, with that. Made it work. His, his head is so so pale and wrinkly. Oh, we miss you, Robert. <clears throat> Still miss you, Robert. Hold on. That, that reverby piano sound used to be like, it was just all over dance music. It was like the primary instrument. I guess maybe it was just like the whatever MIDI bank was serviceable. It was like the the least shitty sounding or something. And then you just you just dump reverb on it and it sounds like you're in a, a, a rave hall or something. I don't know. I'm no music musician. I miss the sound though. There's that and then the like the MIDI acoustic guitar. The, the kind of like twangy, reverby guitar that makes it feel like you're walking bare th barefoot through like an Italian, an Italian villa. I'm trying to think of a song that has that. I used to have I used to have a handful that were like, yeah, it's time for it's time for reverby guitar. I want to listen to some like moody guitar twangs set to. Uh, Emotional synths. Is this where you climb up? <laughs> Gangnam style? That's what I was thinking of. It was the Psy hit Gangnam style. What if instead of playing Robert Miles' children on the stream, I just played Gangnam style randomly? <laughs> Gangnam style has got to, got to have hit the, the Shrek post-ironic wraparound now, right? Like everyone loves Gangnam style. Ironically or unironically? 
I listened to Rebecca Black's Friday a couple streams ago and it fucking hit. It hit good. It's a good ass song. Side switch. Thanks for the sub. Hmm. How to get treasure. Leon, we're gonna have to really think about this one. I thought you had to drop down in there from up here. I guess there's this other door, but it's blocked. It's like explicitly blocked. Super blocked. Anyway, I think if you put your chips down on Gangnam Style, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Maybe it's time to like find the one other side track that you can bust out to show how legit you are. It's, you gotta backtrack from here, right? That's the only smart thing you can do. Oh no, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this, this is what I did last time, though. I guess. Mm. Yeah, Rebecca Black has put out more more songs, right? I mean, there was like Saturday, right? I think there was a follow up, but it was it didn't have the fire. Damn it! No. So. Oh, call me maybe is a is an instant classic. It usually comes up in karaoke, so I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, am I looking at the right door? Oh, that's not right. Oh, it's just, oh, damn it, okay. So the moon door needs to be open, and then I need to be able to drop in. Call me maybe is too catchy for its own good. Man, it's so good. Oh, it's it's out of my it's out of my range though. I've tried to sing it and it never turns out good. But it's so it's such a good song. How do you not sing it? Need to train. So wait a minute. Moon door is open right now, right? But that means that door is closed. That shouldn't matter. Yeah, here we go. Now I've done it. Dare I say, I'm a genius? Dare I say it? Perhaps I do. Oh my gosh, look at all those. Look at all those gem slots. Who? I can shoot the moon. Four color bonus! 52,000, that's pretty good. What a lucrative trip. We're worth every bit of uh, the genius I expended to solve that devious puzzle. It's interesting that there's multiple item drops inside stuff now. Sweet Chaos Emerald Necklace, bro. Thank you. All right, now I can move on safely with my adventure. I have a cave troll. You got a helmet. That's cute. Another one. You guys are really starting to become a giant pain in my. Oh! I saw the rock hit him directly in the face. Ah! Oh, cut off the line too. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That was great. 
It actually cut off the voice line. Ooh. Swell it, you pal. Check what's in this rotunda. Yeah, he, he actually has pretty good eyesight, huh? Oh, man, the impact effects are really, really good. He's just like whipping me through that through those tiny little helmet. That's impressive. One down. Wow. Dude just turned into meat. Holy crap. man it's kind of like another variant of the um, of the catapult set piece just sort of a different form do you think Leon's shins hurt from all the vase kicks if they do I mean they do yes of course they do but he knows that he's not allowed to show it for the sake of America We need to believe that they that they don't hurt him. That being best friends with the president means you're immune from pain. Yeah, I'm cracking a cold one. A sodi. If being friends with somebody made them immune from pain, would it be ethical to force that person to be friends with people who lived with chronic pain? Oh, which Leon absolutely will now. Man, the fact that you can't rely on headshots to stun enemies is, is something I'm still adjusting to. I keep thinking as long as I can get one good bullet in their face, they'll stagger, but that's not the case. Hewie. Does it have to be a genuine friendship or is it just a title system? Uh, scientists, so it like scales. Um, being being around them and doing friend-like activities. You don't have to feel any emotions, but you have to go through the motions, which is something the doctors say. So you have to go on, like, friend dates. You have to, like, watch movies and, and do mini-golf and stuff. And even if you don't get along, you still have to. And it still counts. So it's just really... It's just kind of, like, awkward, I guess. Like people... Like, you have to pretend to be friends, even if you're not. But it's the... Like, it's the pretending that matters. Oh, thank you, Slauson. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not the scientist here. I don't, I don't pretend to understand it. Oh, here we go. If you want a more uh, complete, if you want a more complete explanation, I suggest you take it up with those eggheads downtown. And they're fucking labs with their beakers, measuring stuff, writing things on chalkboards. You know they're doing that all the time. Measure, like measuring, just all this measuring. Give it a rest, scientists. We know what stuff is, all right? When's the last time you Googled something and it didn't say what, how much it was? Yes. 
I think it's a scam. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it might have changed. Yeah, right. Give me a fucking break. Nothing changes. I'm playing Resident Evil 4 again. You're gonna tell me things change? There's only one game and it's Resident Evil 4. There, done. We don't need any of this bullshit. It's bullshit. We don't need it. Get rid of it. Get it out of here. Get the bullshit out of here. I'm just ripping off Tim Heidecker now. Coming. I guess if you're gonna rip something off. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson explaining why Godzilla isn't real. Here's why Santa's impossible. Ah, but you see, the delight of science is much more whimsical than any Santa. Any overweight, gift-giving entity. I don't even know what voice that is. Doesn't matter. It's a nerd's voice, that's what. <clears throat> Resident Evil 4 equals Tetris 2. Man, they. So they made a Tetris. Hold on a minute. They made a Tetris 2, and I should like it, right? But look at this. Get a load of this shit. Get a load of it. Good look at it. Like, the cover looks okay, I guess, but it's like... I don't know, man. It's ugly. That is an ugly game. <clears throat> That's just ugly as hell. I guess I never played the one for Super Nintendo. That looks pretty cool. Look at all those blocks. <sighs> no, no, not... I think I had Tetris 2 for Game Boy. Yeah, but look at this. Ick. Blech. I guess the NES's color palette was kind of tilt shifted. I just did. Did the NES have the original piss filter just because of the, the like shades of colors that it used? Oh my god! Did I just did I just come up with a real whopper of a YouTube video? What do NES graphics and the Matrix have in common? They're both yellow. No, no, listen to me explain that for two hours. Do 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 Not up here though. Huh! Fancy that. There's probably another sack I gotta cut. Ooh, Zidonia? Wait. See that guy got Tetris Grandmaster or whatever live on stage? Which stage? There's a few esports events going on right now, right? One of those? Yes, Leon. Adios, you son of a bitch. Ah, you can watch the stream because I've already reached the island. Right. Oh, wow. Open for traffic. You are significantly ahead of me then. What was that? Shot that a little too early, but it doesn't super matter. Can I open this door from this side? Oh, okay. It's just not even a problem. So, what's going on with this treasure, huh? Huh? You're trying to keep a treasure for. Oh, yeah, you need a small key. 
It really feels like there's more small key drawers than there are, are small keys. It's it's interesting. I don't know what's what's going on there. Maybe I'm just missing them. But I guess all there are, aside from story and like puzzle items, nothing else is really in like a fixed spot and has a fixed amount. So it would be weird if small keys were like that. Regardless of all the random item drops and stuff, there are keys here, here, and here, which was which is how it would have to be if they're just a finite number of keys. So I don't, I don't know. Crockemeyer had to pop out and say, hey. Sorry, dude. I've had my fill of you guys. Yeah. Pshit. I'm bored. Man, Leon's so cool. Can you even think of something cooler than Leon? Don't try, because it's pointless. I'm saying that out of experience, based on some very uncomfortable mental conflicts I had about Leon in the past. <laughs> like two hours ago. <laughs> huh. I don't know, he's such a gentle a gentle bird. No, I'm not going to do it. Leon's bloodthirst has been satisfied for now. I did just explode some dudes with a cannon, so. Who's cooler, Leon or Dante? See, I asked you not to... Do you understand what pain this causes now? Actually fairly irresponsible of you to be asking things you? like that in chat. I know that I haven't changed the rules yet. I thought it would be common sense. <sighs> Is this going to be one of those streams? One of those troll streams where people... People keep trying to start shit about fake video game dudes? Oh sweet, another cutscene. I look forward to all these cutscenes. You know, but you can't run. You gotta keep moving forward. Leon, we will beat this. You gotta pop that back in. Together. I don't know if I can. You can. Just give me a heads up before you stab me next time, okay? <laughs> Leon. I Thanks. His smile warms my heart. Every time I see learn smile, it's just so genuine. You can tell he's really happy, and that's nice. Man. The challenge is, is still pretty thick. You know, it's it's got peaks and valleys. I'll feel like I'm I figured out a new enemy type and I'm kind of cruising and then all of a sudden I'll get hit with a, a wave of new enemies or just dudes that just rush in on you. I'm still getting grabbed and killed a lot. So yeah, cool stuff. Yes, truly remastered. Luis, where are you? Sorry, I, uh, I screwed up. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you Charming, pal. Come on. I'm in the ballroom past the courtyard. Don't be late to the dance. Can't believe that guy. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? <laughs> it's a trap, Leon. <sighs> 
Rock Hammercock. Hello. Always nice to have a member of the esteemed Hammercock family in the chat. the New Jersey Hammercocks? Perhaps. I know them of more the Utica Hammercocks. Are they from Borderlands? I heard someone describe uh, Andrew... Wait, no, who was it? Fuck. Wait. I described somebody as having the the personality of a Borderlands or a mid Borderlands in PC. I think it was Andrew Tate. I was like, damn, that's awesome. Oh, it's the hedge maze. Awesome, except I have Ashley with me now. That's a solid burn, though. Oh, that means it's the pups. Yeah. The sweet paparinos. Okay, these birds I will murder, though. And not feel bad about it. Why? Who knows? Leon's a mystery. He's a warrior poet, and part of poetry is uh, death. Yeah. So many items, though. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get those items. Uh oh. Ooh. Well, a little too late on that one. I'm gonna get you though. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is almost like a Metal Gear now. Who is cooler, Leon or Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah. I never thought that TV Buffy was that cool. She was kind of not cool. I don't know. I was never a fan of the weed me writing. So the like smarmy one-liners and like weird cutesy quirky stuff. Kind of, it was kind of always a little, oh, the one not written by weed. Okay, good, the movie. Then we're getting better. We're getting closer. Um, maybe by the end of the film, but still. I don't know. Like, end of the movie, Buffy is just kind of starting out, whereas Leon has already undergone massive amounts of incredible tactical training and also has flourished under the constant friendship of pres the President of the United States. So, uh, it's tough to compare, really. Lots of non weedin people wrote for the TV show. Okay, but I'm, maybe I'm unfairly generalizing. I guess uh, yeah, it can't it can't all just be him, right? But what if it were? Ooh, and shook. Thank you for uh, thank you for continuing your sub. Looks like you already had one, but that's good. Oh, okay, so that's that's how that works. Oh, I hear a toy. It must be above. Or is that it? That's it. Oh no, GNF. I, I watched a couple of episodes of, of Buffy, and they had I'm basing that more on on like observations from watching the show, not just dismissing it outright from other things that I didn't like. No, I, I've, I mean, even into Firefly, I watched some of that and I was like, gosh, this just has a smarm to it that I can't get over. <laughs> it's, it's, there's like a, it, it, there's, the best way that I can describe it, and this was something that, that still is kind of in Ryan Johnson's writing sometimes. This is what I react to. So this might be me saying more about me than it is about the works. Put that put that in front. But I often get a sense that something needs me to know how smart it is. 
uh, that it thought of something very smart, and it's afraid that I might not, like, get it. So, or it's something that do that is very smart that doesn't quite need to be there. Like, it could just not be there, but instead it's there to show the smartness. So there's certain little, like, blue little, like, little bits here and there. I'm like, oh, come on, just, we get it. You're smart. Like, that's fine. You can, you can just be smart without showing me it all the time. Maybe the Aaron Sorkin vibe, maybe. I ha actually haven't seen any Aaron Sorkin stuff. I know that it's memed on for being, like, fast and, and punchy and, like, overly, overly intellectual, I guess. Your love of the Fast and Furious movies makes much more sense now. Well, even those have fallen off pretty bad uh, in terms of their... At, at their best, uh, they were like, they were equal parts heartfelt and dumb, but also little, like, little intelligent nods to the audience who uh, were interested in, in slightly more intelligent things. Nine took itself too seriously. Oh, yeah. Well, what's weird is, like, Nine took itself the most seriously, but its action is also the most like comic book it's almost the, it's the most looney tunes the the scale of the action is so absurd that it's like you just lose you can get completely detached from what's going on it doesn't feel rooted in anything you're just watching cg like it's just too obvious so it's like even though a lot of the stunts are like practical did you mean to put that stock on something what do you mean which stock they, they don't have to be sitting next to a thing in the inventory to be used I can pick it up. I have the room. But how? <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I the problem is there's a majesty to being self-serious, but but like not asking the audience to buy into it. It's that like perfect Metal Gear middle middle ground where it is so self serious and melodramatic, but that leans into a, a kind of like undercurrent of comedy. It's almost like the comedy and the fun stopped with the seventh movie. It's kind of how it feels to me. Yeah, the cheeky reveals and stuff. Like in in nine, the way they reveal Han is so dumb. It's not fun at all. It's like the most one dimensional thing. Just like him in shadows. Or something. They, don't, they don't know you know. Which is frustrating. Of course we know it's fucking Han. Why are you like pretending like it's anything but Han? You're not even like, like leading up to it in a fun way. The reveal's not even clever. It's nothing. It's just him. It's just, oh, is that him? It's him. He's back. And his character is completely different. I guess he shoots, shoots guns now. I guess he always did that. Who knows? Who cares? Is dumb. Yeah, they put him in the marketing. He's like in the trailer to get people to watch the movie. And you're in the movie and you're like, oh, Han's coming back. And then it's like, who's the shadowy character? Like, it's Han. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Han. I don't know. It's it's just like you have to over deliver or surprise. And it's it was weird to watch a movie that was just like, we'll just do the most obvious thing. Talking about Star Wars? No, Fast and Furious, actually. Did the characters know who it was? I don't know. I guess not. Who cares what the characters know? It's not about them. <laughs> I should make a sequel where they inexplicably go back to stealing DVD players. Yeah, try to Rocky Five it. Oh, right. Do I? Yeah, I do. Gonna... Here you go. For... Easier this way. Hmm. 
Oh. Hmm. Okay. It's time to get crafting, I think. Ned Lobster. Thanks for the sub. Why can't I reload? Oh, can it only hold three? I don't know. There. That was odd. I wanted the inventory space. They got to transition to a new generation, right? If the franchise is to survive, you have to cast all the prima donnas out. So we gotta we gotta rip it away from Vin Diesel somehow. Order. Or, better yet, best solution of all, we just walk away from Fast and Furious and formally transfer over everything to the Triple X franchise. There's less baggage, there's more attitude. Donnie Yen's already there. There's really nothing to not like. It's superior in every way at this point. Ice cubes there. Helen Mirren? I'm trying to remember the like classy actor they got for Triple X3. There I mean I think of Triple X4 as Greenlit. Oh, yeah, Mirren was in Fast and Furious. They got some classy actors. Was it San Sandra Bullock? Fuck. I'm trying to remember. Wait, I can't. Uh oh. Should have stayed up there. What the? Tony Collette. That was it. Thank you. Oops. All right. I didn't. I was mostly just Are you all right? standing still and murdering. Thanks. Man, they're really going through it today. It's been a rough day. So let's, let's see. I can't. Okay. I'm going to try to get to that treasure now before I accidentally stumble upon the last part of it. Yeah, whatever, I guess whatever cinematic universe gets Willem Dafoe. Wait, no, it was Marvel. Never mind. Man, people liked No No Way Home. That was weird, man. I remember walking out of the theater being, theater being like, well, that was, that was not, that was masturbatory. I guess masturbating rules, so I really have nothing to complain about. It was cool seeing three Spider-Mans. Ashley! Can't argue with that. Thanks. He's also an Aquaman, that's true. Forgot about yeah. He's an Aquaman. Man, what a movie, Aquaman. Aquaman fucking rocks. It doesn't need to be more than fun. I agree, but it's trying to be more than fun. That's the thing that I, I had a problem with. It's like, 
It's doing all this philosophical lecturing, but it's not really about anything. I think the that like t end of the 2010s and the early oh early part of the 2020s. There's gonna be like a lot of movies that I think in retrospect will be seen as trying to be a lot smarter than they are. I think like I think Dark Knight kicked off this whole thing and a lot of Marvel movies ran with it like having a movie that seems like it's about something deep and interesting but kind of isn't <laughs> like it's just got an idea in it but the movie seems like it's tackling some kind of some kind of some kind of deep dramatic idea Yeah, Keyboard Cowboy, I agree, actually. I thought Andrew Garfield did a phenomenal job. I, I thought Amazing Spider-Man 2 was the most accurate Spider-Man movie. Uh, like, actually had a lot of the beats and kind of pacing, for better and worse, of a pretty good Spider-Man arc. Kind of hit the tone. It was pretty, like, somber and, and kind of dumb. There's always like some some subplot that's so like needlessly needlessly intriguing, I guess. Slow your roll, old man. Some of us weren't alive in the 2010s. Well, maybe that's why you weren't born yet, so movies couldn't be smart. And then once you hit, oh god, just out of nowhere. No, Mega, there were just a lot of strong reactions to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I actually don't know why it, people hated it so much. It's kind of the same with Solo. I don't know. Some things people just have strong reactions to. I thought Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a fun watch. I think Jamie Foxx is fucking awesome. I, it's like kind of hard to not like watching him, for me at least. Uh, and I thought he played like... Probably the best Spider-Man villain. I mean, Molina in, in Spider-Man 2 was pretty good. But I really think, like, Jamie Foxx's Electro really did hit the, like, villain notes of a, a really good Spider-Man villain. Like, an outcast, a nerd, somebody who's, like, bullied or whatever. And the question is always, what do they do with power once they get it? I blame Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Forgot about it. Yeah? Okay, bookending it with Rhino is a little weird. First Amazing Spider-Man was alright. The second one I couldn't get through on Netflix. Yeah, people really did people really, really didn't like it. Now we can finally get out of this maze. I think it has one of the coolest, like conceptually one of the coolest superhero fights. At the end when all the like Transformers are going off and stuff, it's kinda like music equalizers. And I also like Junkie XL, the composer who did Amazing Spider-Man 2. So that movie, I guess, accidentally tripped into a lot of things that I like. Yeah, the Gwen thing was pretty cool, I guess. So again, trying to follow that's, I guess, trying to follow more comic booky beats. The problem is like the that uh, that is very awkward though. I'll say that <laughs> doing that at the end of the movie, and then trying to like wrap it up and provide some kind of closure, moving on. That's how you end the film. Well, you end it with Rhino, I guess, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's a suspect move. Questionable decision on that one. I think I've been up there. I'm gonna go up there anyway. Because, yeah, it's just the switch, right? Yep, yep, yep. Hup. Okay, so now I gotta go to the middle. That's kind of interesting. They mixed this part up a little bit. 
It's kind of interesting because remakes are really just sort of going through the same concepts, but the actual level design and stuff is new. So they made a new game. It just moves through the beats of the old game. I wonder how much work that's, that does for you. Or how much less work a remake is than a, new, a totally new game if you already have sort of the game flow laid out. Oh, I got a goose raid. Hello, everybody. How are the, uh, how are the Diablo waters? The Diabloters. I already got some time in on the druid. I turned into a big, a big werewolf. A big hairy boy. With big, strong claws. Oh, bad idea. Thank you very much for the sub. Ooh, they got some range. Oh, I was getting ripped up. Yeah. Shadow card. Thank you for the sub. Whew. Druid Earth Magic is my only vibe right now. Nice. I actually haven't tried the magic. I've just been doing the forms and stuff because I wanted to be a big hairy boy. I wanted to stomp around with my big hairy legs. Ooh. Oh, shit. What? 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 I stabbed him, but he didn't. What? I thought stabs. <clears throat> I thought stabs were always insta kills. Oh my gosh. Well, that sucks. Are you okay? Yeah. Am I? Oh yeah. I have a tasteful mod installed. Don't worry though, it's tasteful. I would never want to alter the game's experience too much. Because as I was, as I was uh, saying before, I respect the developer's vision. I'm a vision respecter. That's what entitles me to correct people on the internet about what games should be. If you have a problem with that, I'll ban you from chat. Ball Man. Must be this way. I love that Leon, like, holsters and unholsters things unnecessarily because the sound of it is really cool. Got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. Oh, I want to read it. There. Blue medallions. Woo! Ooh, Lussel. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Lussel. Appreciate that. Always enjoy the content. Well, I enjoy streaming very much. Ooh. More upgrades. Hell yeah. I was feeling like I was starting to upgrade out some of these guns, but I should know that Capcom's got me. They know. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Ooh. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. Will that be all, then? A challenge. Okay, I need to repair first. Good is new. Crossing Gots your to do that. Dotting your eyes. That's the way to be. Man, more durability on the knife. That's great. But first, I'm gonna sell the this snake. Valuables won't do you. <laughs> Thank you. He said the thing. God, I love it. And yeah, this track. Got a selection uh, of good. Oh, when these violins kick in. Strength. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh. You mentioned Junkie XL. Have you heard of their remix of Emerge? Heard it on the SX3 soundtrack. Emerge. Doesn't ring a bell based on the name that alone. That's pretty big. Enough to get the job done. Oh, I got another column. Hey, every little bit helps. I never got the broken butterfly. Huh. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. I'm gonna 
do it. Try that on for size. Jeez. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> oh hell yeah. It's been a while since I've done the uh done the uh accuracy challenge. <clears throat> Love Jun Junkies Justice League stuff. Yeah. Justice League was a little more down tempo and like weirdly dour. I don't know, that's just Snyderverse, I guess. Oh yeah, Fury Road though. Mmm. Okay, let me see. I haven't done this yet. Chad, <coughs> what is going on? What's going on with me? Oh yeah, I have a banana. Oh, she says stuff while you're doing this? Read Anna. Was this in the original game? There was a shooting gallery, yeah. I didn't get it. Damn. And that's the game. Was I down two? Yeah, okay. Well, I saw the two at least. Oh, watching you do this with a mouse, mouse is painful after going through hell with a controller? Yes. Yes, this is much easier with a mouse. And even I'm not just like acing it. There's a lot of baked in sway and uh, like bob to the aiming in this game, which kind of keeps a little bit of that survival horror awkwardness. You can send up tensions when you're trying to land shots and you just can't or you miss. Yeah. I need to let the sights zoom in for that one. What are you kidding me? Hey, Aldrich.
Oh, I missed two of them? Oh, that's right. There's one on the left that's behind another chest. Well, that wouldn't have worked anyway. One of them's holding dynamite. Uh. Oh, look at that. Okay. I didn't hit the... I didn't hit the thing. Not every day I see a performance like that. You're something else. Three, two... I guess you just gotta keep trying and, and eventually... Hopefully you'll get the... kinder end of a... bullet dispersion. I can't even get. I keep missing other ones. Okay, one more try. I can't imagine doing the Sonic controller. I mean, I guess it's pretty much the same. You just put your crosshair exactly where it's going to be, and wait for it to to move into your crosshair. Oh, I wasn't scooted all the way forward. That was probably part of it. I didn't deserve that, but I got it anyway. Not every day I see a performance like that. You're something else, you are. Okay, one gold token acquired. Do you get the other ones? That was like something you'd see at the fair. It reminds me of being a kid. Aw, she's having such a good time. Blech. Ashley's cute? She is cute. There is kind of an interesting code. Side characters in games are not allowed to like critique you or even be snarky or upset. With fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> you can see the banana while it's holstered. It's kind of like I guess it's kind of in there. There's like a banana skin wrapping around a normal gun, I think. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Yeah, people are really sensitive about that. <laughs> I noticed a lot of people, like, associated kind of nagging and stuff with Atreus in God of War 2018, but he doesn't, he doesn't really do... Like, there's only one part of the game where he whines a bit and uh, gives you a little sass mouth. I thought that was interesting, too, because he is so nice <laughs> in Ragnarok. Like he is, he never, ever, ever Hello, stranger. says a, says a curt thing. There's 
treasure here. Ah. The only characters that are even a little bit grumpy with you are like borderline villains. And even they're not that like aggravating to be around in party. Look at all this space. Look at all this space. I can do anything I want. I can do anything I want. I can do it all. I can do it all. Ooh, FXSRT. Wow, indeed. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. FXSRT. Let's see here. Faxert? Faxertio. If the 10 is an IO. Faxertio. Thank you, sir. Sir Faxer. Oh my god. The fucking rail cars in here. I see medallions. They're not gonna get away with this. Oh, it's a gif of a pup. Give of a dog. Yes, nice gifting. Thank you. It is truly a blessed Saturday with good video games. Good video games. Couldn't have said it better myself. Wow. Got to support the quintessential. I thank you for it. Contributing to the arts and the sciences simultaneously here. I don't know if big cheese is in the game. I do like this Leon though. He is he is a slightly less campy smarmy version of RE4, but the the stupid one-liners are still there. They're just delivered a little different. Castle's too pretty. I gotta back out. Can't handle that. How's the game? I'm really liking it, James Fisto. Also, hello. Oh, we got Chonky Grenade. What? Ooh. Oh. Okay. I was sort of noting that the grenades in this game didn't have the oomph that they did before. Perhaps this is why. And they also take up one slot instead of two, so yeah, that makes sense. There are other oomphier grenades. I'm glad everyone's cool with me doing that. That's what I love about this place. Everyone's cool. Oh, never mind. He's gonna scream? Like, wake all these dudes up? Maybe it's like if you interrupt him. Hey, up on the balcony! Wait, what do you think? Okay, that's interesting, yeah. Oh, he's all the way over there. Wow. Okay. Oh, she did a little fist pump. Oh boy. Oh no, present. How many axes do you have? Huh? 
Ah, uh, that's bad. I need more rifle ammo badly. Oh, no, wait, I have some. Damn. I thought I was out for some reason. Oh, shit. Oh, Ashley's gonna get fucked. Oh, dead end. Here you are. Hit, hit him! Uh. This dude keeps fucking running around. Man, this sucks. This is this is bad. This is real bad. Maybe I have a flash. I do. Okay. God damn, okay. I was looking real, I was looking real, uh, real lean for a minute there. Uh. They are insinuating my personal computer can't handle the performance. Shield, dude. I need some bullets. You're hurt. Hey, let's take a break for a sec. I'll be fine. We gotta keep going. That's Leon. What an interesting encounter. That's a really that's a really cool enemy type to have in something like Resident Evil. That's kind of like the like Archvial or the Summoner in Doom. I don't know that there's ever been an enemy like that. One where if you leave him alone, he powers up other enemies. It's bound to have happened, right? Maybe in RE6 or something. <coughs> Support, let's plug us out of here. Running dual healer. Looking miss positive. Oh, it's the song, the piano. I was wondering if, uh, I think it's called Infiltration? Hold on. It's about time for it. There's like a couple of, yeah. Those piano hits? I swear I just heard that. Does this remake have a bunch of new things? It's not just a cosmetic, cosmetic upgrade. Yes, that's correct. There's, there's like new mechanics. All the environments have been reworked. There's like new puzzles and stuff. Extra areas where there weren't areas before. Definitely a lot of uh, environments and set pieces inspired by stuff in the original game. So yeah, I was hoping to, uh, hoping to hear some version of that. I guess we'll see.
You know, it's kind of odd that they... Well, I guess giving you resources and gunpowder means that you are less likely to pick up bullets for something you don't use. But I need to make bullets. Lots of bullets. Damn, I'm out of gunpowder. Furious Jojo. Wow. Thank you for the sub. It says, let's go. Oh, I'm going. I'm getting treasure. Look at this diamond. It's a PP diamond. That's the most valuable kind. That's what happens when you compress piss in the Earth's core for hundreds of thousands of years. It becomes a P diamond. Right now, most pea diamonds are from the dinosaurs. But there's some, like, alligator pea diamonds. To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell, but people try to, you know, they look into it, try to behold its essence. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, the bridge went up. What does that mean? Um... Now I can cross the bridge. This whole environment actually is kind of like a doom. A doom room. A bridge that you run into. The bridge lowers you into a pit of monsters. With the, like a support demon on the high ground. Doom room. Goat head. Just video game things. Body's gurgling. Oh wait, Chaka chills. I gotta admit, the piercing on the rifle is pretty great. Like shooting that chunk out of that dude's shield and blowing off the dude's head behind. That was awesome. Okay, Ash. Take it easy back there. Yeah, I kind of hear it, that piano trill that was just there. That kind of reminds me of the infiltration theme, but I think I might be a little, I might be grasping a little hard. It's interesting how you can see the color temperature change when you come into the main hall. There's a medallion somewhere around here. Not on my watch. There's gotta be one up there. They keep thinking they can hide. They can't. No, I'm... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's little... I'm sure there's little musical references here and there. I guess I'm hoping it just breaks into a more... more driving version of that. Chunk. Hey, it fits. Good job. Good job, us. Proud of us. Alright, on to the next one. 
Oh, what is this? Oh, rats. Rats uh, should not eat the precious books. Heretics couldn't care less. Please, please, somebody get rid of the vermin before it's too late. For spinals. Spinal. Man, Leon's cool. If you were talking with somebody and they, like, stabbed a rat real cool-like, would you think they were a badass? Or would you be scared? Or yeah, if, what if they spooned a rat? <clears throat> Whipped out their spoon and stabbed the rat directly through it. Just huh. wham! The dining hall. Eat here? No thanks. Huh. Nothing's happening. Gotta be missing something. So, uh, you do a lot of missions like this? Well, yeah, but I'm not used to having such good company. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Take it however you want. Okay, okay, I can't, I can't. I gotta keep moving. No problem. <laughs> Whistling like a, for a horse? Here comes old reliable. Oh, she's got a stutter in her gait. She might need a new pair of shoes. Ah, Yondo. Thanks for the $13.37. That's a very elite amount of money for hard gaming in these trying times. Thank you very much for respecting my brilliance. I appreciate that. So let's see here. The lady, of course, has nothing. A plate of air. And, and shame. A man gets bread and drink. Yes, perfect. <coughs> Three, three things, three knives, two and two. Okay, let's figure this out. Nope. 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 I think it might be this. Right. Have a seat. You sit there. Okay. Ding. Ding. Nope. 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 Oh, here we go. Here we go. A king and his queen. Ding! Ding! Leon! Looks like we figured it out. I mean, we? Leon? We? Really? Okay, alright. Alright, buddy. We. Sure. Whatever. Whatever, pal. Whatever you say. Have I retrieved all items I haven't? Ashley, you were gonna let me leave. All right, there's a medallion too. Oh, you gotta get it through the window? <gasps> oh, 
How cool would it be if that owl suddenly blinked? Oh, man. We'd be through the looking glass. Looks like we're still missing a piece. It's good that she's here to point these things out. Wait a minute. Where's the last medallion? Medallion? Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can shoot it from over here. She's got bugs in her. I do too, and I still find time to be cool. I don't think she's got an excuse. Okay. Yeah, Rad Screw, this is the remake. Fully released video game. Yeah, look at what it did to my face. I gave up 80% of my face for the US government. And it was worth it. Because I am the ultimate ninja you see before you today. And I'm best friends with the president. Nobody can say that but me. All right, now what do they want me to do? Go here? can't do that yet. Yeah, the eye tends to pop out. That's just normal. Don't worry about that. Everyone worries about the eye popping out. You really don't need to. Just wait a minute. Hmm. Is it... Is there, it doesn't connect over. There must be a door that I'm just missing. Oh, there's one right there. I think I found it. Haters will say I'm cheating. Leon, there's some armor. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Little old-fashioned for my taste. Mm, too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. Wait, what, Teton? Oh no. Can't actually watch your stream since it, since it keeps making my game crash. That sucks. I remember having some problems like that in World of Warcraft of all things. I noticed that when I was playing a video, World of Warcraft tended to crash and I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to play World of Warcraft without some kind of video to watch in the background? I think I had to, I had to like roll back my video driver to one where it was stable. That's all of them. Yeah, your vid card is pushed to the limit with this game. Ashley, stay up there. It is uh hey, it's pretty it's pretty technically advanced. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with the state of uh, a lot of game games on PC and their PC ports. Last of Us Part 1 is coming out on PC pretty soon. That's probably going to be bonkers. Man. I'm excited for a digital foundry to uh, gush about Last of Us Part 1. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, you can't be serious. Oh, I'm afraid they are quite serious, Leon Kennedy. That's awesome. So yeah, we're in the castle. Things are already getting a little goofy. Things are getting silly.
campiness is going up. Spinal. Solid move. Ashley, it's okay. Just stay safe. Pretty great way for a character to uh or for to make the player like the NPC more. Have them hang back and throw stuff. Help you out. Messy. It's my hole. Go to hell, you rusty piece of shit. Yeah. Another classic Leon burn. Let's see if I can get them all at once. Shit, shit. That's not going to help. Mm, maybe it's not worth it. I'm just going to go for it. I need space. Nighty night. Nights. Leon! Bazinga! Yeah, that's that's a bazinga moment for sure. Skills. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you're alright? You're not burned, are you? The subtitles had a Z! Oh, I really did the trick. <laughs> Skills. That that's actually like that seems pretty pretty like accurate to a 2005 hip girl compliment. Man, that's great. Ashley. Hey. What are we doing to this centaur? Oh, okay. Need to have the laugh track cued. It's not a bad idea, actually. Like, hold on. Leon drops a, a 99 nights or something. Hold on, wait. Is just gonna give it? You just gonna. <laughs> just so people know that laughs are on the way, or they're already here. Time to laugh. Uh oh. Look at all those items I'm missing out. Did you mod the knife to be a giant spoon? I wouldn't say mod so much as change through force of will, but yes, I did mod the game to have a spoon. Knifey spoony. And other tasteful changes. Okay. I got so many spinals. Oh, in QTEs. Don't think they're gonna move, do you? Cubic device. Oh yeah, squeaky boy. Hey, hey. There we go. I don't think I got a rat in the uh, in the library actually. So I think that means I gotta go over there. health actually
Okay. I'm on the lookout for fuzzy fellows. Squeaky lads, tiny furry guys. A little skittering skip. Hmm. Crispy critters? They're gonna be crispy, I'll say that. I'm gonna crisp up some critters. Wait, was there one? I guess maybe I could trust the rat corpse staying around if I actually did kill one in here. I don't think I did. Yes, the critters are uncrispy. Backseat about the last rat. Yes. You find it in the next chapter. Wow. What the fuck is that? That's not fair. Again, who does Capcom think they are? What is, do they think we're just a bunch of yahoos? Leon, the stairs! Stay back. One day. I should have gotten that item first. cool. Oh, is this when you get to play as Ashley? I won't run. Wait for me, Leon. Cool. Awesome. But you did just run. No, she didn't. She was advancing in the opposite direction. Okay. Need to find a light. I guess people were worried for a while that they were taking the Ashley section out of the game. Which I guess, given the state of modern gaming, is something that... Yeah, I guess I get it. I'm just like, man, everything's gonna suck. No, sometimes, sometimes things don't suck. Capcom makes things that don't suck. Man, this looks so cool. Don't scare me like that. Can't believe they have mods for this game already. Ah! There you are, you bitch! You son of a bitch! I'll fucking kill you! Damn it. Stomp on him, Ashley. Stomp him! She doesn't have a stomp button. Or yeah, I'm very happy with it. I'm having a great time. And I'm like... It's weird. I don't know, like... As weary as I can get of, like, games that are kind of leaning into safe ideas, this is still, like, a new good game. It just ha it happens to be called the same thing, have the same characters, and be in the same locations as Resident Evil 4. But, like, Capcom has been just killing it, releasing Resident Evil games. Uh, and if they have to be, the, if they have to have the same title as last ones for people to buy them, then that's fine. 
Uh, and they're still making new ones too, so it's, I don't know, it's awesome. There's really nothing to complain about, I guess. The resting forebears answer to the chosen time. If it is the Lord's blessing you seek, have courage and fear no darkness. Is that a clock? Maybe. The hands move. Yeah, Capcom's been been doing so hot lately. Love to see it. Hey, what's up, Fafsa boy? It's by Ashley. So wait. Obviously I'm gonna get that treasure. Even if it's locked. I don't care. Ooh, spooky. There's like sheets over per people sized things. I guess it's the suits of armor. That's so good. Oh. A hidden staircase? It must lead to a secret room or something. Glad they took a lot more time and effort compared to Res 3 Remake. Ye yeah. Me too. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a bit odd. Because, like, Resident Evil 3 Remake is still kind of a really accurate remake. Because Res, Resi 3 came out, like, a year after Resident Evil 2. It was a pretty quick flip game. It was not as big. It had some cool ideas in it, like the dodge and, like, Nemesis chasing you around. But, like... It wasn't, it wasn't like an evolution or anything. Oh yeah, this thing. So I guess it kind of, like, not that it, not that it makes it impossible. Like, you can compare 3 to 2 in terms of remakes, and 2 is obviously quite a bit better all around. But 3's got its charms. It's got its reasons for existing. And it is kind of, uh, I don't know. It kind of fits. scary y'all don't get scared so wait I have to all the charm of the three remake wears off after the initial playthrough though oh that doesn't surprise I mean I could buy it yeah I um oh you have to pick that's awesome it's not very fashionable, I guess, to have a game that costs that much that you're expected to play through once and maybe move on with your life. I'm okay with that. I get why people wouldn't be. I, I almost want there to be more games like that, like the Callisto Protocols of the world. But, eh. I certainly can't tell anyone they're wrong for looking at it and being like, there's not a lot there. And wanting more. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's the other one. That's the cube. I guess I have to come back in here with Leon. Are they chasing me now? Oh, 
yeah, that's... They're chasing me, so I have to cycle through all the keys. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> Which one is it? Bravo. Love it. Panicked trying keys at the elevator. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, Turbo Z. Yeah. It's... I don't think it's fair to call the RE3 remake bad. I think it's a good version of what it is. But yeah, it's just not the same scope. Or... It's just not the same scope of game. Although I feel like they would have to... to I guess I guess a good remake of 3 would be... A vaguely open world Raccoon City that does have a freeform... Nemesis in it, maybe, maybe like uh, Alien Isolation did, because Alien Isolation is a very real example of that kind of game mechanic. A key to getting out of this confounded place is the Salazar family insignia. To find it, I must venture to where that cursed armor awaits the underground mausoleum. Oh, merciful Lord! Enact your righteous justice upon the wicked usurper, the maniacal monster Ramon Salazar. And may your blessed blue light protect your forever faithful servant. Yeah, and the f yeah, that's true. That's the other thing is that they're, I guess, so I have to, I have to admit I haven't played all of Resident Evil 3. Uh, so I'm, I shouldn't be speaking so authoritatively on the matter, but people have, have said that there are like, there's sequences in the original three that aren't even in remake. You just skip over some stuff that could have been content, even if it is just like linear action stuff. 712. Relage. Relage. Relay. Oh, clock. <laughs> How is that a C and an L? No. Spanish for clock. Ah. Maybe. Reloy. It's Spanish. Gosh, it's like a whole other language. Are you telling me they have another word for everything? That's ridiculous. <laughs> what are these hieroglyphics? Oh, it's got the wings on it. I once thought I could speak Spanish after seven vodkas. What's seven in Spanish? If you know that after seven vodkas, you actually can speak Spanish. Did they mean this? There we go, okay. Yes. I know I saw another clock like this. Like 
Gotta go down into the mausoleum. Why well, do you see something clanging around down there? Hmm. You know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream there. I'm gonna. I want to spend a Saturday evening hanging out with Steph. So yes, I'm kicking everyone out to go hang out with my special someone, my personal gamer. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it's the weekend, you know, Steph had a long work week, so I want us to have some quality couch time. But thank you all very much for watching. I always appreciate it when I have some, uh, some fine folks to share some fine games with. Oh, you were just about to leave. Well, this works out then. I always hate it when I start like being like, Hey, okay, I'm heading out. And then somebody like swings in and they're like, no. So you've saved me from that. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your weekends, everybody. Um, I will probably be streaming tomorrow as well. Uh, more Resident Evil Remake. Maybe more mods by then. But first, tomorrow, I'm going to take in some art. I'm going to go see uh, Super Flute, which is a Mario-themed version of Mozart. The Mozart's the Magic Flute. I don't even know what the Magic Flute is, but they have some really weird costumes. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm going to raid somewhere. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. game from Parker Brothers, the ones to beat. Oh no. Mouth versus Nick. Round one. Fight. Let's go on to the power team. Then we'll come back and check out Ghouls and Ghosts, Super C, and Mega Man 2 in the video Power Edge. But first, let's see how Big and his boys try to rip off a charity monster truck contest in an episode called Speedway Assault. Let's hit it. Segarari 2! Mega Hit Race Game of Series 2! Aro, Segarari 2 ga, Hayaku mo Dreamcast ni Kanzen Ishoku!迫力のドリフトと自然現象まで再現された各コース、さらに工場マシンも十数台と大幅にパワーアップ。あのラリーの躍動感をスーパービジュアルで完全再現。ジャンピングフラッシュ2、もうすぐ。プレイステーション。